no, 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 Microphone check one two. What is this? Welcome to episode two hundred and seventy two of the Joe Budden podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, and grateful host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. I have Maul to the right. I have Parks here. Rory is here. Erickson is here. Savon is here. We have a special appearance from Brandon. I want to shout out our Spotify listenership. I want to shout out our YouTube viewership. I want to shout out our first time and last time listeners. I want to shout out all the ladies who might be listening to us. Uh, Y'all don't get enough credit. Who else do we need to shout out? Uh, the truck drivers, delivery drivers. Shout out all the teachers, educators, back um, to school time. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Timmy, if you got... Four motherfucking apples. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love back to school time. That little meme is hilarious. <laughs> if you got three fucking apples, Timmy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Do you miss school? Sometimes. sometimes. Yeah, sometimes yeah. I do. Sometimes. I like school. School, school like is cool, man. Place to centralize and figure out who you want to pop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cyphers in the hallway. Oh, yeah. come yeah, I mean, on. Yeah. Rory yeah. wasn't outside for Cyphers in the hallway. No, because rap stopped in the 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They took, they know, took a few it? years off. Were they still uh, rapping in the hallways in 2000? Of course. Okay. <laughs> what? I wonder if they still do that now. Fights at lunch. Nah, they Because you can't auto tune no more. They rap you can't auto tune in the, in the hallway. Yeah, fuck you. I, I'll be in the hallway with the little talk box. Heroin, <laughs> <laughs> I come with the red coop. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> I would find a way to kill the uh, hallway ciphers today. I'm like, sure. with, this this, with this Yeah, I would have, have something with me. That would be kind of funny. I would like to see a, a comedy sketch of that. Because yeah. now they're pulling out Be- their beatboxing phone. Beatboxing the trap, trap beat. Yeah, now they doing. How do you beatbox the trap? Like the synthesizer. How do you? How do you? How do you <laughs> yeah, get the ain't nobody, ain't nobody banging on a lunchroom table no more. Niggas ain't. Yeah. It don't sound like an eight oh eight. So we're not shouting anybody else. Out. You know, no, you're good. Shout cool. out to educators, uh, teachers, teachers. Yeah, people that wait in line at Auntie Annie's in the airport. That's you weird. guys are That's sick. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just shouting you out for your own personal you know safety. Who? People that that eat those pretzels at the airport because yeah. the line is always long for some Crazy. reason, and you, I never understand are you that. Out the Auntie Annie line. Yes. <laughs> It's always crowded in the airport. It really that is. is true, though. I want to shout out to the people that uh, slowly come out when another car is speeding and then just go slow. <laughs> yeah, shout them out. Yeah. Y'all are ruining niggas' whole day. Yeah. Like, you see me doing 75. Yeah. And you know what else to ruin the day? Like, when you try to be nice to a white white person, you hold the door open because you feel like you look now threatening you. and shit, and they just keep walking. I hate shit. that. Oh, if I want to walk, it, yo. I be want to pop their ass in back. Nah, of you gotta hit him with a sarcastic. You're welcome. That's what yeah. I do. Yeah, that's what to. I do. I feel that's to. when I get sassy on them. Yeah. You got to. <laughs> they don't give you the white people to black people smile. You know that one. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no lips. <laughs> just chin. No, lips in. Just it in. Nah, Big Rory, chin. don't try to start the game shooting threes. Don't try to get hot now. Don't try to. He crossed uh, half and pull up. He, uh, he wanted, uh, oh, he, he wanted them that's nice at home. Oh, you're nice oh, yeah, at home. Yeah, yeah. I, I am. I got the whites on. He pulled right up. Got the home whites on. That smell. Why do, why do we know that smell? Because all white people do it to black people. All white people do it. Just show chin. That's funny. <laughs> Tuck their all lips chin. in. All chin. <laughs> How you it's smile okay. with yeah. your chin. You can say hi. It's okay. Uh, where, where, where would you gentlemen like to uh, like to begin? Want to recap our LA adventures? Well, yeah. Maul won't give us a recap of what he was doing when he wasn't with us. I wasn't doing much though. Joe, you were doing things. I, we kind of didn't really see much of each other. Parks and well, I went to the comedy store because we're cool and doing. we're friends. I knew yeah, what he was doing. Store, y'all didn't send that text to the chat. It was no, Joe, you was long there. gone in yeah. Calabasas, bro. You already got any white boy back. What you mean? Before oh wait, you got, got there back. before us. Yeah, I got there like. An hour before Rory Yeah I don't know why we didn't text you We're, and we're, I d- sh- we're shitty friends Yeah And I did know what Maul was doing I heard it on the radio You heard it on the radio? Yeah when you wasn't with me What you heard oh, on the radio? About it. Don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Maul had, Maul had a radio spot? No It's over yet It's a joke No oh. Let's keep going Heard it on the radio You did an le- <laughs> a LA Leakers freestyle? Yeah <laughs> <laughs> It's coming out It's YouTube videos on uh, probably Saturday uh, LA 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 so why, you, why you said you don't want to move now? Because you was you wasn't you was, that's not what you was talking last. I was gonna say you really cool. you was kind of saying you liked it. I missed that part. When, when did I say that? We should all you come out here more we often. Spend, we should. Oh no, we should more. come out there more often. No, you said we should spend like six months out there. 
more time. Yes. Yeah. Six months is a long time. That's like a half move. Yeah. I'll take a half move. I'll do a half I'd rather move. do like one week of the month or something like that. <laughs> that one ass. week? Yeah. Just like a whole week? Yeah. LA just opens too late for me. What you mean? It opens too late. Everything. I'm awake at five. Oh, okay. You shouldn't be awake at Which five. Which is... Oh, please. Which is what? what can 2, you do 2 a.m. L.A. time? What can you do in New York at 5 a.m.? Things. Like what? No, it should be open in New York should at 5 a.m. Yeah. At 5 a.m.? Yeah. yeah. Name them. Fam, by the time I, All the 24 by the time, diners? By the time or... I let Brooklyn out, <laughs> come back, and, and, and brush my teeth, fucking the laundromat to be open, the cleaners to be open, the gas station to be open. The laundromat? Oh, my breakfast spot opens at 6.30. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, the this, bodega's open 24-7. This man shit in New, What are you talking about? I don't understand it. There's breakfast spot. Well, no one has a job in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody point. works? No. Nah. When you seen someone working in L.A.? I've never seen it. Never? Nah. Besides a hotel staff, when you've ever they seen don't, or a bartender, they don't, they don't work much either. <laughs> I've never. I've they don't get much it. done. It yeah, takes a long time it. to get your food in LA. Hey, God. and I, I be trying to get on my label man shit and be industry. Like, nah, we not in the office today. Like, fans a Wednesday. <laughs> nah, we don't work on Wednesday. I think I'm cool on staying at the Mondrian though. They tried to charge me eight seventy five for two bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I said, fam, you can keep those two bananas. It's okay. Thank you. Eight seventy for two bananas. Like, just put it on Ian's room. I, I thought about doing that. <laughs> Put right. in somebody else's room and walk off. Yeah, yeah that's the move. <laughs> that, that's the big move right there. The I would have had me some bananas. <laughs> no, Lord. that's how I knew I was becoming a better person when we was on tour. And Key, for some reason, would go in our group chat and say everyone's room number where they were staying. I was like, I know all your last names. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can sign. I can sign Joe Button pretty easy. So mad easy. Sure. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. Well, I didn't do it. Maul. How come at no point in that in that uh, Nikki interview did you jump in during her cyberbullying rant and tell her not to look at her phone? Or mm, just put that's the, been the question the last or, couple or, of days. Or to just put the phone down. You said what? That Wait, was my when, question. When, as, when soon she was as, on, that, as soon as it was over. Mm. When she was on live or after? No, during, during our the podcast. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was on live for half of our podcast. That's true. You were on it too. You kept going, "Hey guys." That's yeah. not really the point that I'm making. No, I'm yeah. not sure. Are you talking about that part of the no, interview I'm, when no, she I'm was on live? About when she, when she was talking about being bullied. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. You said, "How come what? How come you didn't say, hey, just put the phone down?" It got to a point where I was just happy she wasn't yelling. <laughs> so once she was just talking, just let her talk. Well, no, on Queen Radio, uh, when you you were gone at that point, I had asked her at what point do you not care what strangers say. Yeah, which, yeah, yeah. which is similar to saying close your phone. Yeah, you did. I remember that. And she said, I'm human. Yeah, that's a turnover. That's a what? That's a turnover. <laughs> turnover. How? It's a turnover. He did ask. That's a turnover. <laughs> Why was it a turnover? <laughs> I'm talking about mall. That's a turnover. Come on. I mean, I, fam, I was just happy it wasn't yelling. It wasn't no screaming. I respect that answer because it there was, was a lot of yelling. Yeah, I was just like, you know what? Just go ahead. Everybody's talking in a, a calm voice. Go ahead. Just get it out. I went back and listened to the R shit. It wasn't as bad as people were saying. <laughs> no, it it wasn't. She just has a natural yelly voice a little bit. Yeah, she does. It cuts yeah. through. <laughs> and that that was certainly not my first time being cussed out by a woman. So I, I took that all in stride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she really gave it to you. <laughs> but she wasn't. I mean, she, she wasn't. That and then she smiled. She like, wasn't, it wasn't I, malicious. Like I knew off Queen Radio when when we were breaking with that. She wasn't being serious about that. No. So that's why I knew what that was. Which was fine. She was a sweetheart, but me. And I, I don't. I don't. Rory, take... Rory, and I have this conversation a lot. And let me move this. This is not pertaining to Nikki. I don't want anybody mm-hmm. to get confused. We have this conversation a lot about different artists. When it's like, okay, some of these people are really, really nice, or like really, really sweet, mm-hmm. or appear to be. How do you gauge the difference between the on switch and the off switch, or like uh, the showmanship? Versus who you are. How do you gauge it? Yeah, like, is there a way to ever really know if somebody's, like, actually the way that they're portrayed? Yeah. How? When, uh, when the cameras I think that takes some time, though. I, I, that's really you tough to gauge off the first conversation. Uh, well, I'm talking about if you're ever face-to-face with them. Oh. Oh, no, I meant more so from a fan perspective. Oh, then, no, that's hard. You can't, yeah. really, can't really. Yeah. You can't I don't really. mean, I don't mean us. It's rare yeah. that you're getting a, a celebrity to disengage their celebrity persona yeah. on camera, on microphone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It happens sometimes. Some people are good at that, like drawing that out of somebody, but it's rare. 
And a lot of artists have to be open to that too. Like an artist coming in knowing, and I'm not saying this with Nikki or any other interview that we've ever had, they still have to be willing to come in there and want to do so. Right. I mean, you can't ask them all. They could dance all day. I'm not faulting the interview for an artist dancing, but you know, if they want to open up, they will. If they don't, then you're just going to get a surfaced interview. Right. Um, I I want to thank her again for for joining us uh, and sharing her platform as well. I'll start with that. I don't really have any more to say about about that. We can start unless y'all want to. No, that's, no. Yeah, I, I don't. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Uh, I, the feedback w- was interesting. Uh, it was ironic she kept using the word case study because I certainly use it as one from my mentions. Hmm. Just interesting to see how people interpret things. That's all. There was um, one. There was one point. Because I remember when she started, we were talking about the Ross, the Ross game thing. We didn't know who she was talking about at first. I, we all thought game. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then she, she was describing game. game. Yeah. But that's what I was about to say. I was going to stop her and say, but game is the king of, he had a whole record directed at all the women that he allegedly had sex with. So I was going to stop him once I was like, but I was still kind of confused. Like, is she talking about game or Ross? I didn't. But then you got to remember. And then she said, sit your fat ass down. I said, oh, okay. I'll sit my fat ass now. But then you got to remember, <laughs> I, think, I think Game was holding her down at one point. Like, no, I think they have a good relationship. Yeah, yeah. But I still, think, I still think she obviously likes... Oh, yeah, they did a video together, yeah. She obviously like, likes Game as a person more, but I think she does like Ross as a rapper more. She wouldn't say it because <laughs> she obviously doesn't feel no type of... I mean, she didn't big Game up in a rap way. She just said she didn't... Don't no, fuck she with went Ross. straight to Ross. Yeah, we like, just so she was talking about I'm game. just going to take that like, yeah, you fuck with Ross music, but... Yo, Maul is crazy. How? That's not a fair <laughs> no, assumption? I, I, think, I maybe, think she... She, she didn't big <laughs> No, I think game she up. ignored that question to directly respond to Ross on Apple of My Eye. Yeah. I don't think she had any interest in Ross debating was, rap Ross responded. Game and Ross. He responded yeah, to word. what she said. Oh, what did he say? He said, yeah, I, I sent that text to me. That was before I found out you wasn't the one. Like, so yeah, that's that pretty, w- pretty much exactly what he said. Yeah, that's his response. Uh, that. I kind of wish Ross would have dived a little bit more into that point of saying she was the in-between between Drake and Meek. She was kind of the facilitator. And I was really interested to see where Ross was going to go with that. And then they kind of just moved on. Like, Ross didn't get into how Nicki could have played better in that role. Just, I, don't, I just, just don't understand what people would have wanted her to do in that position. Like, what do you do you do in that position? Like, what could she have done? Hey, guys, you shouldn't make records about each other. You shouldn't. No, it's like that's between y'all. That that's yeah, on she, y'all. Well, I, couldn't under, I couldn't understand if Ross was alluding that she was playing both sides. That, oh, I didn't. Well, un- that I, I didn't know. understand what Ross was getting at. I, once he, he started with he the wasn't point, saying that. Okay, what do you think he was saying? He wasn't saying she was playing both sides. He was saying it was just a very fragile position to be in. Fragile meaning any wrong move either way could Is damage so so much. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's that's just what I took from it. And if I'm looking at it today, I, what I took from him saying, you know, everybody cool. She went his way. I mean, she went her way. He went his way. He went his way. I, what I took from that is uh, that's the result. That, yeah, that, but that, that is. I, I don't, felt that, Nick ahead. don't seem to fuck with Duke, Duke as she called him. Uh, we clearly see that Ross and her and and we don't know what's going on with her and Drake. So I mean, a lot of people wanted us to ask that question. I wasn't. I wasn't going to ask it. I didn't even think about it. I did. Uh, it's my number one question. I wasn't going to ask it. I just have. I don't. I just don't. Some like- shit is too. Some shit is too personal. And I come on here and talk a lot of shit, but I I be thinking I'm about eighty seven percent in some of the shit I think. And if I and if I'm thinking that while you're in my face, I'm gonna respect you. Right. I'm gonna respect it. I'm not gonna sit here and think something and then throw it out there. Mm. Like if you don't, if nobody is saying it, I ain't. But that's what I'm, I'm saying. Not I, to, I just I'm don't not like looking to break break a story. Right. I'm not I, looking I don't for like, headlines. I, I don't you know, like, we got a lot of them. I don't like asking gossipy questions. Yeah, me too. Like now, if she was somewhere saying. Yo, fuck Drake. I don't fuck with him. Then it's like, it ain't no gossip. Then you said it. You said you don't fuck with him. Right. Then it's like, oh, well, well, why don't y'all fuck with each other? But if we just think they don't fuck with each other right now, that's gossip. That's just well, like, do you think it's gossip if you ask, yo, you have an issue with this woman. You've been, had a friendship and business relationship with this other person for so long. And then he then brought her on stage. Is that gossip? I would like to know how you feel about that. I don't think it's a gossipy thing. That sounds gossipy. How? It's a little gossipy. I just said it sounds gossipy. I'm not saying yeah. it is. I'm just saying how it sounds. 
And that's yeah, the, it's just certain shit I just can't ask. That's the thing. Like, we niggas at the end of the day. Yeah, like, I can't <laughs> ask certain gossipy. Like, niggas was in my mentions, kill you, should I? Fam, I'm not no gossipy nigga. I'm never gonna ask nobody. That. I was like, more so on camera, at, off camera, laughing at the dude saying, "Oh, you let her scream on you like that." Like, what you want to do? Yell at a girl? But that's how I felt <laughs> when niggas was saying we should have, me and Rory should have left. Mm. Well, that I'm like, what that the whole fuck are y'all talking well, about? No, like, the, the, do you know how stupid we would have looked? Well, no, they they I think they didn't they, know the full they story. stopped saying that uh, after uh, all. <laughs> The they found out that they did, uh, yeah. she did our podcast. Uh, yeah. No, but and that regardless, that even if, was even not if she, what it appeared to be, even if she audio. didn't do the pod, like what 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 comes out of that? Oh, because again, we didn't know Joe wasn't coming back in the room. One, that's number one. And two, it was like it wasn't like that's a good point. She was. Uh, I thought y'all well, people also too, take the <laughs> people also take like the celebrity that type of beef as like real beef. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's why I said the world is going crazy. The world has gone people crazy. are really out of their minds. I'm with you on that one. And and all, we don't take yelling like that doesn't really phase well, anyone in this room. Well, that's why I laugh because it's just that's why I asked you that question earlier because the coin is two sides to the coin. Some of the artists and most artists, and this is this is what I'm used to, are super super nice to the public and on camera, and they're dickheads and assholes. Behind uh, behind closed doors, right? That's common. Mm-hmm. That's that's the common one. But then there's the very rare occasion where somebody is just a, a dickhead personified publicly, and they're pretty cool behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. You're one of them. Thanks. I was gonna say, are you uh, are you alluding to something? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, no. I think in even listening to that Nikki interview is fun. While while she was, and then I read, read some comments like, "Yo, uh, Nikki and Joe got a lot in common." And I was cursing out the people that were saying that in my head. I'm like, oh, what the fuck are you talking about? But then when I listened back, she had some of the stuff that she was saying, like, I thought she was a little nuts at times. And me too. <laughs> I'm nuts at times. So I get it. Right. Yeah, and... I thought she was loud at times. You're loud I'm at loud. Times. I'm loud a lot. And yeah. yeah, and I can't say that behavior from Queen Radio wasn't similar to some everyday struggle shit that you've done. Right. Where it appears that you are much madder and louder and, and angrier then I than you are. About that, and I said, "Wait the fucking wait! Is this chick a, a genius on the loan? Because <laughs> I know what I do in front of that camera. Right? Like, I'm not, I'm not telling you, but you just know. And she has that. She does that. Now that's it. Yeah. Well, that's why she has her own show. Sure. He has a few reasons that she has her own show. Uh, Larry Jackson told you, uh, yo, stop Fuck talking about here. me, Duke. Stop spreading rumors. No, he didn't say Duke. <laughs> I'll get your shit off. He, no, he did He did in an <laughs> Apple professional way. Yeah. Say, yo, fam, keep my name out your fucking mouth. I stand there all the time. You know what, Rory? I don't even want to joke with you because <laughs> you have your own Apple beef. Okay. Right? <laughs> So don't create one with me. You're if, not gonna stand me, with me. If me and Larry, J- no, the, the days of us standing together are over. <laughs> uh, they don't even each other out when I walked out of Drink Champs for you. No, I don't really think some of you niggas know some of the things I do behind y'all back for y'all. No, they don't even out me and you anyway. <laughs> you you got a little ways to go. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Uh, Larry Jackson, <laughs> Apple Beef. Yeah, uh, if me and Larry Jackson decide to shoot it out, <laughs> that'll be between him and I. But we had a very polite, of course, awesome uh, conversation. Of course, y'all did. He uh, was super it was great. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, and I wanted to put that out there because I did say that. You know, I said that. I said, no, Larry, Larry Jackson was, Jackson was there, very Larry Jackson hospitable. Very hospitable. Everybody over there was hospitable. Yeah. Yeah. All right, enough now. Spotify. <laughs> All, right, now. All right, now. We let y'all go to L.A. We let you do your little... All right. <laughs> Back I mean, in Parks is enough of all that Larry Jackson is pretty hospitable. <laughs> listen, man, I will say uh, the snack selection at some of our Spotify shoots was a little scarce compared to Apple Radio and everything oh, they provide. That main office. Actually, that actually, main office actually was oh, up. man, wait a minute, man. We got to bring Homie Core up real quick, man. What will happen? Because now that I think about it, yeah, I think Rory is, is pussy, but I don't think he's Why? pussy for staying in the radio station while I was outside. See, that's fan made up bullshit. <clears throat> but now that it's playing back in my head, the second we 
That Vory stepped out the van on Apple. He started texting niggas trying to find out if Zane was going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember that? I do remember You remember that. he pulled yeah. a little uh, shorty to the side? Uh, like, let hey. the narrative go. He was looking hey. over his shoulder a lot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, why your head was on a swivel? Uh, you see, I had a uh, shorty from Apple meet us right there. I had, my, what, I had, had my muscle on, with me. Yeah. Come on, my man. Muscle. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I, had had my, I had to have my uh, ally in there. I heard him say, yo, is that him in the window? Oh, no, it's not him. No, nah, it's not Zane. That would be a, the, a most hilarious square up. I'm not breaking it up. <laughs> I'm telling y'all right no, now. That would be one you'd have to let go. Not yeah. 100%. <laughs> no, I'm videotaping that one. Yeah, of course. Yeah, multiple <laughs> yeah. angles. Yeah. Sure. And I'm All interviewing the winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pull up. Yeah. <laughs> when you get to pull up, I'm going live on when that one. Pull up. <laughs> I'm opening my eyes live. Pull from one. the baseline three. <laughs> <laughs> you nigga, I'm open down here. I knew y'all open. was going to try to come back and be funny. Ah, <laughs> y'all so corny. Get the fuck out of here, man. Uh, where we at? Enough of this. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, no. We, we talked about bro, something else happened from there. Oh wait, we said uh. Uh, oh yeah, and she replied to Charlemagne. <laughs> she did. Yo, mad, mad aftermath happened from that interview. <laughs> Not shocking. No, none. She was no, letting no. off the yopper. But that's why it's hard. She replied to Charlemagne, saying what? She said <laughs> something about when she, when Charlemagne thinks somebody about to talk bad about her, he get all excited and it's. Tail start wagging and his pussy get all extra wet and all types of disrespectful shit. <laughs> After Charlemagne had said nothing but great things about her. That's how it usually happens. Though. But he did look kind of excited when he asked for us to. It's a little giddy. giddy. Ah, uh, Charlemagne, I'm keeping my Nicky relationship. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, look at you. <laughs> I'm oh, that's a joke. Disgusting. That is a joke. Number that's one. Charlemagne is your brother. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Charlemagne is my guy. Don't do that, Rory. See, another beef you trying to get me. You know what I mean? Because you and Envy. I see what Rory be doing, man. Nah, get me away from Rory. What I, what I be doing? Nah, don't try to group me in with your beefs. You fight the 105 Breakfast Club alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Maul got your back. Yeah, Maul with me. For hey, sure. My guy Look, ride with me. For sure. <laughs> for sure, nigga. Stuff. F- <laughs> Let me know when you want to run down. Nikki. <laughs> Nikki said she was running uh, down. Uh, I'm that, sure she'll that, text that. you. <laughs> oh, so he'll be there. <laughs> what? You'll be there if Nikki go run down. No, she said she was. If, he, if Rory run down, I'm there. Well, no. Rory's not running down. Well, Rory, we don't know. When's the last time Rory ran anywhere? I don't know. He used to run track. Yeah. <laughs> 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 kicked him off of that. <laughs> no, unlike you, Joe, I don't run. Mm. When I ran? I feel those kids. Out of Apple Radio. <laughs> you, you chased the car Alright I'm not doing this with y'all There's a lot of memes man I, I caught the car too <laughs> <laughs> Well they were at a stop sign They don't never say that part No Oh I'm about no, to say chased the fuck? kids I Oh Oh okay I caught that car though <laughs> yeah, you It was only a Toyota I mean I, Yeah Joe catching the Toyota <laughs> <laughs> What? Nothing Uh we all want to start 30 minutes in Uh did any we care about Trina's response While we was on responses I didn't hear her. What did she say? A classy woman. Yeah, she I didn't. I just saw that. Class I'll personified. Keep it, keep it I watched you. What did she say? She said, uh, "Let me handle it." Type shit, basically. She said that any uh, for any mix up or any confusion uh, concerning regarding her album and the video and certain people not showing up and X Y Z is all on bad business. It has nothing to do with Nikki. It has nothing to do with anything but bad business, and that's falls on me that falls on my team uh, i don't want y'all saying anything disrespectful to her uh blah blah, blah. you know it's respectful shit yeah real classy very shit. respectful for you know thanking everybody for being on the album but did nikki say that trina no no no, it was, no the, it was the makeup artist or no nah, the a and r uh trina's a and r i think is what it was yeah. yeah okay okay yeah no well, that was great that was a classy of trina yeah of course yeah well trina's classy yeah and she's been at this for a while so I, when she made that video, I didn't think she was about to come on and, all right, I'm going to give it to her now. I, I didn't, didn't see that. Yeah, no. Um, don't y'all try to deflect. Come What's on. Up? Look, look, oh, look. You want to get right to it? <laughs> 30 minutes in? Look, 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 look. Let's do it. 30 <laughs> look, minutes in? Let's go. Look at you niggas. Look at, but <laughs> let's just take a second to look at y'all, though. Okay. What are we deflecting? Look, I ain't even say nothing yet. <laughs> you said don't deflect. I didn't know what we was deflecting. Family ties. You tell me, King. The label. I'm oh no! Now he, he don't know no uh, label. Okay. He don't know no brothers. He never threw up the diamond. Yeah, he don't know none of that. Thing. <laughs> oh, the, y'all want to talk about Jay? 
Is that what you're talking about? I'm lost. I don't. How, do you want to talk about that? Got you now. Yeah, we can. Okay. Let's you, talk. What is you sure? Yeah. That, that's what y'all was over with mm. deflecting? Who the fuck was deflecting? <laughs> He's looking at me too. Mm. I'm not deflecting shit. No, you're Mr. It. Me too. Yes. Nobody's deflecting. You, you too. I, I, no one's what me too and me. All right, come on, come on. Give it to Let's me. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, God damn it. Okay, so Hove's new partnership with the NFL partnership. Mm-hmm. I'm so, I'll be so happy when that word leaves. Yeah, they, they're I'm beating s- that one to death. I, I'm so sick of it now. Yeah. Um, well, what is it? A, de- a deal? You prefer deal? No, partnership is the graduation from deal. So yeah. they need a new one. Okay. That's what I was asking in the last interview I did. What is a partnership? Like, they don't say nothing. Uh, a deal was a partnership too, no? Yes and no. We were working toward the same thing. No, we're partnering No, because I guess a partnership would still have different equity in things. I think the I NFL think par- hired Jay Z. Yes, I think it's a hired. So I don't think it's really I don't think it's a partnership. partnership. Yeah, I view and I could be wrong if you look up the word, but I view a partnership more as an equity share Correct. than you hiring me for something. Correct. That's right. us making a deal. Well what did he do? <laughs> Ho, uh, the NFL hired Rock Nation Hove to oversee the entertainment portion of the NFL, specifically the Super Bowl, and to bring more awareness to social justice issues and programs within the NFL. I believe I said that correctly. That sounds from, right. From what yeah. I read. Yeah, yeah him and him, uh, Roger Goodell and Robert Kraft have been... Uh, that's chummy, that's, chummy. That's how. That's how. The, uh, <laughs> Robert Kraft looked like he get chummy. Yeah. <laughs> the, that's how the criminal uh, justice, the reform, the whole thing came about for Meek was was through uh, Robert Kraft. Nah, nah, no, no, no. Don't tell us about the good stuff, bro. <laughs> well, I, I think this is. I just. I think this is an extension of that. I think this okay, is an extension of 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 starting uh, mutual conversations among amongst each other. Starting. Businesses starting language so that they understand uh, our culture more. Like I don't see the negative. Like people are, and I think people have to remember that Colin Kaepernick also. Anytime niggas say that, they have to remember. Yeah, because I don't think people remember that he he reached a settlement a settlement agreement with the NFL. Oh, most, uh, most, most stole my defense. I'm just saying that no, that's just <laughs> yeah. that's just black and white. So if he's okay, if he reached a set of meaning, he felt like it was okay. Whatever they, we never got the the well, ins and outs of so what they and so signed an NDA. From, that's from what would you? What we, what that's would you, my beef. What would you say about the concerns that the NFL or similar corporations would be using Jay as a shield? Using him as a shield, correct? To say, hey, we're doing something. We have Jay Z. Well, I wouldn't say a shield. I would say it. We we have, first of all, we have to wait. The, the deal just happened. Correct. We don't know what will come of it. I agree. So I like that's what I'm saying. People are just so quick to react and. And spew whatever they think. It's like y'all don't even know what's going to happen. They, but they're reacting this way to, to further Parks' point because this is littered all throughout white history. History, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, white people. I want to choose my words carefully here. Uh, white people paying their way into black people's cultural capital. Okay, I think that's a good way. Well I think those. Yeah, I think those you. same people. Mm-hmm. I like to call them like the social media uh, uh, Avengers. No, but this has happened no, before do social media. This is way yeah. before social media. No, 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 I'm just saying. I'm talking about right now. I didn't see none of this like outrage towards other players that weren't kneeling. I didn't see this this type of outrage towards some of his teammates that weren't kneeling. That's so outrage. Like I didn't see not like this. No, we don't like people like, still tuned in. Those hope. same people that was angry still watched the Super Bowl. They still played fantasy football. They still did all these things regarding the NFL. But now it's but like there are a large group of people, including yourself, who did not. Right. I still don't watch the NFL. But that's, that's mm. my point. So let's not speak to the people that but, do. There are a large part of people that are still down with the boycott. Abs- absolutely. But what I'm saying is, us like Jay was saying, boycott. Great. Make your voices heard and and don't support. But then what? What, what? what do we do further? Like like he said, it's time for action, though. It's time that we do other things to to, to, to build and, and move on. Like, we have to... Otherwise, it's like, okay, Colin Kaepernick did something. That he lost his job over it. He brought, he brought social awareness to a situation. But then what? I subscribe to the seat at the table theory. That's number one. I do. You have to get in the building. <laughs> but only when I trust the person in the seat. Mm-hmm. And I guess that's why I maybe don't have as big a beef with Hove as some of the people that I'm reading comments from. Hove's history is also littered with mad 
pro black secretive i'm gonna pay over it like it's been mm-hmm. mad uplifting it's been mm-hmm. mad a lot of things us. that he doesn't make public and things that he does make public mm-hmm. both yeah, yeah. <coughs> he so, has a pretty staunch history of being supportive yeah which yeah i think it comes down to seeing what happens and if hove which i don't think he will be is quiet through some of the injustices that are not addressed if the nfl continues to do so and he's quiet then yeah i'd be critical of the deal mm-hmm. but i just don't think that's going to happen right so yeah i can't and granted i'm a white guy so i'm letting you guys talk first on this issue i yeah i, I can't see an opinion on it yet. I have to see the deal actually go through, and I trust the person that the optics, is right there. <laughs> the yeah. optics aren't the greatest. They're not the greatest, and I think <clears throat> he also messed up I by saying that he spoke with Cap when he hadn't spoke with Cap, at least recently, regarding the deal. That was a misstep. Now, that did come from him directly? No, that came from Nessa, I think. No, no, no I'm talking about... Uh, he said, uh, well, in the article, I didn't see the video. They haven't released the full video, but in articles, they said that he had spoke with Cap. I know, but that don't tell me that he said that. That's true. That is true. It could so be bad journalism. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to put that on him. I just had that happen in a Variety article written about me from the Nikki shit where they said some shit. I was like, fam, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that, but I read that as well. Right. I read that it came from him, and here we have Nessa saying nobody ever reached out to Cap. Uh, well, one thing I can say about Jay is he's not a liar. If he say he spoke to Kaepernick, he spoke to Kaepernick. About what, when, how long ago is a whole other thing. I'm and, sure that and, he has had and, conversations and, with yeah, Kaepernick. I just yeah. can't. Yeah, and again, I, he's I didn't not going to say that because that. that's easy to prove if he didn't. That, that's what I'm that's saying. Why that Jay is, make is sense. way he's more calculated that. than to say that he's not going like, to lie. About fam. That. <laughs> that's that's an easy prove. thing to get proven wrong on. Right. I would like to start hearing from Colin Kaepernick, honestly. I do appreciate uh, Nessa keeping us abreast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would like to start hearing about what he thinks about anything. I agree. Outside of, of some tweets. He hasn't even really told about really, this. He, yeah. I don't get that. I believe from he part of, Listen, part of his agreement may be that he can't do that. That may be true. And that's the other reason I ain't about to really slam Hove. He took that settlement and we didn't get a fucking word about it. And I ain't forgot. Mm. That's all I'm, I'm not saying. mad that he took a settlement. I'm not mad either. Of course not. I'm, no. I'm very happy about that. Yeah. I think a lot of I think I speak for a lot a lot of people wanted to know the details. Now that I do want to the know. De- the details behind what happened there. Yeah, and from the post we've seen with Cap working out, it appears that he still wants to play in the NFL. No, mm-hmm. they're not never letting him play in the NFL. I, don't, I agree. I don't think they will either. Agreed. But you knew he that should, when you took play. that money. He should play in the so NFL. I'm saying all of that might be part should. of the settlement. When you took he absolutely that, should. fam, when you, uh, that settlement means you're settling something. But mm-hmm. didn't Eric Reed also uh, settle in the same, in the same, uh, uh, I, don't I believe think he so. did. I believe he did. I'm not sure. Look it up. But he's still in the league though, right? Yeah, he's still in the yeah, league. And, still and still that's league. my issue with Eric Reed. You still get a check. He did. Yeah, he did, right? Yeah. So he got the settlement and still get a check, which great, great. Yeah. I love, hey, I love Eric Reed's in- integrity. Me too. But niggas still do what they got to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's getting paid. Colin got paid. Yeah, Hope got paid. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I just like to see us represented at the table, and I think that starts. That has to. It has to start somewhere. And I just think this is a start. My thing is when people getting upset, oh, he shouldn't have did this. It's like you don't even know what's to come of this. Like why are people always so quick to react to something and jump on something and, sl- and slander something when they don't even know what's getting ready to happen? Like that's why I keep saying uh, the, the world. Saw, well, I saw, yeah, but the, I saw a lot of people saying, okay, what it, the hell is the NFL going to do to change anything with social injustice? So I thought about that point because I noticed a lot of people saying it. Like, how on earth is the NFL going to get police brutality to stop? So I don't fuck with this whole shit. Like, this is just a business move. Let's be clear. Police brutality will never stop. I think people need to understand that first and foremost. I'm not going to say that. It will never stop. Like, there's not going to come a day where a police officer will never leave, will never uh, uh, bring harm to someone that isn't warranted. Like, that's never going to stop. It's never going to be in the day where it's like, that doesn't happen anymore. It's gonna because those are just subjective cases. You run into people that may have mental issues that are officers. Like you just, there's no way to really gauge that. But 
what are the, what are the actions after that is what we can hope can, will change. Officers uh, suspended or or sentenced to prison, mm-hmm. things like that. But will somebody will it come a day when somebody nobody's ever beaten up by a police officer or killed by a cop? I don't think that will ever happen. Hobie just said, being honest. Hobie even said in the interview or I know, can press bl- conference, whatever he said, you can't just throw away someone if they make a mistake. It's the real world. You can't say, oh, you made a mistake. You're canceled. I'm never speaking to you again. That doesn't accomplish anything. That's what I believe. Regarding the, he was anticipating the criticism of partnering mm-hmm. with the NFL. Well, he knew. He, <laughs> of course, you, you get criticized. You cannot make everyone happy. Of course, not. I don't care what you do on this planet. Somebody will always have something negative to say about what you do. Yeah, but they'll yeah. have which more, is why you should move. They'll have more negative to say. Don't do that more. Let's let's just paint this correctly. Yes, you're right. But they will have more negative <laughs> to say when you own a sports management firm. And when last year you told Travis Scott not to perform at the Super Bowl because a lot of body yada yada. I think having the sports management shit is more leverage. You represent big I'm, athletes I'm t- that have you, more leverage. I'm telling you why some people will look at this uh, with a little more... Uh, Again, no matter what you do in life, I don't care what it is, people will always find something negative to say about it. Very Period. True. If Jay didn't have a sports management anything and he made this move with the NFL on any capacity... People would have have had something negative to say about, that especially with a topic like this. It's just a life. You can't. Topic. That's why when you move in this world and you do things and you create businesses and whatever you're doing, you cannot move thinking about what people are going to say or think about you. You have to move on what's in your heart and what your intent is. Period. Because I don't care what you. Somebody's going to find something negative to say. Oh, he did this only because of that. Or oh, she shouldn't have did this. Or she shouldn't. Have, it, it, you can do everything right and have a heart of gold, and people will still kill you for it. That's just life. Which is why you can't you can't think about all that shit. You know in your heart, Jay knows what he's doing. He knows what's to come. He knows what he has a plan in action. He he knows what he's trying to do. Right now, people are just reacting because of the news. Two years from now, let's see what happens. I'm not even really reacting off of the news. I'm just seeing a whole lot of I'm a I'm a give you a crumb and I'm a get back a pie from certain white people. Mm-hmm. Like, Robert Kraft is chummy chummy with Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Dolphins owner is fucking raising money over... <laughs> All right, cool. You gave us meat. Play mm-hmm. both sides I'm happy defense. about that. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. happy about that. Mm-hmm. And, and but, is in at, a... but at what cost did we get meat? It, it's odd when Donald Trump is calling somewhere for ASAP Rocky. That's odd. <laughs> when he's also calling it's, for Israel to not let uh, those senators... So great. Yeah. You you gave us ASAP Rocky. At what cost? We never hear that part. Great that Kim Kardashian is meeting over here mm-hmm. to get however many black people freed. Mm-hmm. I love that. At what cost? And that conversation never comes up. And it's tough for it to come up because all of this is draped in all of this humanitarian shit. Oh, shit. Well, this at this the, white person's for blacks. This white person's well, yeah, for at blacks. The, at the, oh, at man, the, we got black over here. They're like, like so, so, yeah, I'm not mad at nothing Hove is doing. Mm-hmm. I trust Hove. Great. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I don't trust everybody at that table. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how much information they're revealing to him. Does he know at what cost? And if he does, text me. I would love to know. Well, I mean, I, to be to and that's be, and, that, and and that point is outside of whatever the fuck. Right. Is. I, this is a point that I've been following for just months. Months ago, I came on and said, "Y'all don't think this Kim shit is just like a long one?" Well, it's all based off <laughs> no, of, at, the, at the end of it all. It's all money. I think it's a good point, and I. We all think Hove is bright enough to realize that all those owners in the NFL clearly do not care about social justice. He's aware of that. I don't think Hove's going in there like, hey, guys, I'm going to change the minds of all these rich white people that clearly don't care. I agree no, with that. he's getting in there to get busy the way he best can. He can't, he can't go in there thinking just because it's all these rich white people that don't care, I can't make some type of noise and a difference in here. He's confident he can do so. 
So again, let's see what he does with it. But he's no, he he's well aware that those rich white people do not give a single fuck. Listen. And maybe trying to use this as a way to do a clean slate in a PR way. I want listen. I I want Hove at the table. Mm-hmm. I, I and I fuck I fuck with Dap. I fuck with Dapper Dan. I had I had no I had no uh I had no horse in the race when we were boycotting Gucci, but I fuck with Dap. And Dap had a seat at the table. That that didn't say much to me. <laughs> like I didn't have that same feeling. Not mm-hmm. because I don't fuck with Dap. I just have a different trust level with Hove. Understandable. Well, he's from he's from you know where we're from. So is Dap. We grew up. In, yeah, but he's he's closer in in age. Okay. Uh, definitely from the same culture as we are. I and I, example I, I was about to get to. And I, I think I just think that my thing again, just let things unfold. It's happening all over America, man. Just let things unfold. As people are just what is, so quick listen, to be in the uproar. Nikki and Apple, us and Spotify. This oh, is just yeah. happening everywhere, man. Yeah. It's, it, this this is where this is where we are. See, and that and that is going to get me to my much bigger beef that I I won't say until February or March about how some of this money is distributed within the ecosystem and why it's distributed the way it is. Trust me, these two conversations go together, but it's not for now. Uh, what were we talking about? We were we talking about the, uh, the the deal, the Rock Nation deal. Okay, yeah, we're talking about the deal. Uh, we just have to wait and see what happens, man. Well, play the clip, Rory. Yeah, Come on, you're so busy with your defense, you ain't even play the clip. You're a clip, man. Parks, you're a research, man. I'm all this, that's crazy, man. Come on, everybody, everybody do their job. There might be some new listeners. Hey, Bar. Is this crazy? That's crazy. Dude. Come on, Ma. You don't even that, say that. Go fill that cup up, man. He changed, man. <laughs> All right, here's the clip. He don't even say yeah. it's crazy. <laughs> Everything's not crazy. Um, I don't like the um. Okay. I think we passed kneeling. <laughs> yeah, I think it's time to go into uh, actionable items. I think everyone knows what the issue is. <laughs> and we, we're done with that. We, 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 everyone knows what the issue is. Mm-hmm. You know what the issue is? Even if he's right. You know why we were kneeling? No. Okay. Do you know the issue? Yeah. yeah. Do you know the issue? <laughs> yes. We all know the issue now. Okay. Next. Where are we moving on next? And I'm not again. So to be clear, for the room, I'm not minimizing that part of it because that has to happen. That's a necessary part of the process. That's true. But now we all know what's going on. What are we going to do? How are we going to stop? Because the kneeling was not about a job. It was about injustice. Let me bring attention to injustice. Mm-hmm. Everyone's saying, how are you going forward? And Cap doesn't have a job. This wasn't about him having a job. I can understand how people would take that in a negative way. I yeah. get it. I totally get what Hove is saying, though. I get what he's saying, but... How do you take that in a negative way when he stopped and people have what sense, he was people, saying people and said, I'm not minimizing ears. what he did? More, more. I, I see, I see exactly what he's saying. It's also never too late, or we're never past protest or awareness. Even if things are beginning to happen, awareness and protest still needs to happen. Yeah, and that doesn't stop because you asked two people in the room if they knew what the protest was about. Well, like I think that, that was that the media he was talking to. You asked but two. I'm just, I'm just, I'm talking. But the thing is, he's right in what he's saying. I agree. I just it's don't like how he said. You it. can protest. You can stand outside and protest till you turn blue in the face. But the action. Then what? Happen. Yeah, I agree. And that's all he's basically saying. Like you can protest the NFL, great. But then what? Yeah. And, and I think his point of saying, "Do you know the issue? Do you know the issue?" The people that know the issue know the issue. We know we're not going to convince anyone that's on the super right side or on Fox, whatever you want to call those type of people. That are going to say conservatives <laughs> that that this that this is disrespecting America. How could Cap do this to the troops? We're never going to convince them of what Cap was really trying to say. Who chose the word the words conservative and liberal? I don't know I've, the English language. Yeah. No, I'm talking about as a group. <laughs> Liberals be mad conservative now. That's funny shit. They've, they've swapped. That, that's bullshit. <laughs> they've swapped. Yeah, I disagree with that. But, um, whatever. but yeah, so when I think that's what he was getting at. Of do you know the issue? The people that understand it, understand it. The people that don't are going to continue to do this circus of saying it's about the troops and all this shit. So yeah, maybe you got to put some action now because we all saw what the kneeling did. No, and it was right. great. And it he was really right. good. He's, he's right. About right. That, there's always time for making more people aware. I just wish that uh, they would have wrote something for that part. <laughs> That's mm. all. You think it was coming off the top? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that, he was freestyling. Well, he don't. Well, for, he don't write shit, guys. So. That is true. That is true. I don't. I didn't want to hear Hov say. Um. Okay, look. <laughs> I didn't want to hear that part from Hov. Even if you followed it up with what what was correct, I didn't want to hear you ask the two people. Uh, if they knew the issue, even he, though I understand there's nothing wrong. You know, with he it. just asked more. <laughs> <laughs> That's who he's pointing to. And the part that was, and I get it, he's so right. But it's listen, I ain't not, I ain't not calling, man. I hope you don't knock me. <laughs> no, I think to Hope's point that you, we don't get here without, without Cap doing it. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, I wish you would have called you then. Because, <laughs> hey, I'm not calling. I hope that nigga don't knock me. It's hilarious to me. <laughs> Who said that? Hope. He did he? Oh, yes. I thought you, I thought you were saying that. No, oh, I didn't know. Hope he said, said that. that when the clip continues. <laughs> oh, all right. I thought you were just saying that. No, when the Brooklyn came out of Hope. <laughs> oh, That's oh, funny. Hope was like, yo, listen, fuck all that explaining shit. I ain't knock him. <laughs> Hope he don't knock me. Hope too. Like even if he knock me, I mean, damn. I hope you didn't do that. <laughs> Listen, that's, that's how I felt when he said, "So what?" In my face. It's, it's, I mean, at, at the end of it all, it, it's real. Like I didn't knock his his movement and the way he went about doing, bringing awareness and justice. I'm going about it this way. That's all. No, I know it is funny. <laughs> no, it is funny, but I get it. It's funny though. Oh, we did grind. Oh, you know that's what they're gonna say tomorrow. I knew that was gonna happen. So, how about the uh, people saying we killed Kanye, but we're not killing Hove? How do you feel about that? Because uh, <laughs> I think it's two totally kill different Kanye approaches for, and agree, two totally different narratives, wait, 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 two totally wait, different contexts. We, we killed to Kanye me, for uh, meeting with Trump and trying to, you know, bridge the gap or whatever he would, said he was trying to do. How come? I we're... I said I think that Kanye is trying to get tax breaks. I didn't think he was trying to help us. I never thought that. I, I value I value one for attention and one for progress. And call me a dick rider. No, you're just, a dick, you are just, a dick rider. You're just dick throwing rider. throwing on a red hat and ranting about shit. Uh, no. And then you saying you don't even understand the issues on top of that. Oh, I, that's, I, that's I, the I other see, part. I don't see how that if Hope compares at all. If to Roger Goodell and started sounding like Roger Goodell, <laughs> then I would be worried. And I would be like, oh, fuck. I have to get rid of the Black Album. <laughs> like if he started sitting there just saying a bunch of, come on, I don't, I don't think that's what he did. I don't think that's I what agree. he did. I'm I not, think there was. I'm not. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see anybody say that with that criticism. Oh, I saw it a lot. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see much of that. Niggas are idiots. I, I did see people say, "You guys love Kim, but hate Jay." But I thought that was also a weird comparison. Wait, huh? that's a very, yeah, that they praise Kim for going in and, and meeting with Trump to get all these people out of jail. Now you're mad at Jay for meeting with the NFL. But I listen, man. Again, you, I defer, you, I you can never make everything. And I think what Kim did was great, was great with all that. I defer I, to people that are just smarter than me when it comes to this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I think that time will tell. You know what I'm that's, saying? That's my yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Time will tell. Yeah. Time reveals all. How will it tell it? If we don't see any change, if we don't see any action, if we don't see and anything. Granted, I'm, I'm open to being wrong about yeah. it. Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I can't jump on it right now and bash. The man for doing something where it seems like he's just trying to get in at the table and make changes. Like, Let me at least read what Eric Reed is saying. We never advocated for Colin to lose his job while we fought against his, uh, systemic uh, oppression. Mm-hmm. That's unjust and where the NFL inserted itself into this. Now the NFL is championing social justice to cover their own systemic oppression in blackballing Colin. So we will fight. Okay. Oh, so we will fight to get Colin's job back. Jay Z knowingly made a money move with the very people who've committed an injustice against Colin and is using social justice to smooth it over with the black community. What do, what do we think about that? I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's fair either. Yeah. Unless he knows something that we don't know. Although there yeah. was a money uh, move aspect to it, doing the entertainment or whatever, but I don't think that that's his int- you, can't you can't tell his intentions. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Without more information or without seeing results or lack thereof. And then necessary. I never thought I would see this headline in my lifetime. I can't put in the words the disappointment and disgust. Uh, I'm with Cap forever. Uh, Jay-Z helps the NFL banish Colin Cap. Oh, that's the headline. I'm not doing that. 
Um, that was a uh, TMZ. I think. No, that was Jamal Hill's uh, article. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Well written article. The, the headline is is a a lot more aggressive than what the actual context of what she wrote in there. Mm. Very supportive of what Hove has done in the past with social justice and knows that he has integrity towards all those things. But she did not agree with the NFL deal. But is well aware of his pedigree when it comes to social injustice and everything that he has done. Okay. Does Jay know he doesn't have a job because they blackballed him because he was trying to help millions and millions of people? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, listen, man. I, the world is going crazy, man. I want to reply you. to some of this stuff, but I'm, you on, can't. I'm on the mind. You can't. My, my you cannot. Business. You cannot. You will be replying all day. Is yeah. there, what's, what's on Cap's timeline right now? Did he... Did he uh, he hasn't Address addressed anything? it, to my knowledge. He's been mostly... No, uh, he thanked the people for his support. And yeah, I think I saw something. And he put up a video for the, uh, the his three-year anniversary. Yeah. yeah. This stuff is sensitive sensitive times and sensitive stuff going on. Kraft, who developed a friendship with Jay-Z through their mutual efforts to secure a release from prison for Meek Mill and to launch earlier this year the criminal justice reform organization, spearheaded the effort by connecting Jay-Z to Commissioner Roger Goodell. Conversations began last year in early January. Kraft and Goodell traveled to Los Angeles to meet Jay-Z. After about five more meetings with other communications, the partnership was finalized. Yeah, more will be revealed, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this right now. No, I don't think the optics of it is great. Uh, I yes, some, some of his wording was not. Yes, great. I think some of the wording could have been different. Uh, but I'm certainly not going to question uh, the man's intent. Yeah. I'm not going to question his track record, and I'm not going to question too much because he's one of the rappers better than me. I'm three. He's <laughs> 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 I think. Uh, I think there's a lot help. of people I can talk about. You guys, <laughs> they, they pick. Up. Pick a number, but don't pick one and two. <laughs> I think had had the announcement had more of a plan rather than just what the deal was. Like maybe if they would have waited a bit and put together an actual plan to be like, all right, here's what we mean by bring more awareness in the NFL to social injustice. People would have understood it a bit more rather than just announcing it. They still would have killed him, but yeah, uh, I agree. Might have just been some more. There's nothing you can do <laughs> that's going to make everybody happy. That's true. Period. People especially will always, this and especially sensitive. now, people yeah. are waiting to be in an uproar about yeah. anything. They don't care what it is. Yeah. They can take all the fucking cherry loops out of Fruit Loops, and everybody's gonna fucking go hysterical. <laughs> it's like you can't. It's whatever, man. Yeah. You yeah, yeah, have a ball. I want to see the halftime show. The whole put together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shallow. Yes. <laughs> well, maybe he'll let me come out and do my verse. No, Roy. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, that's only you Rory, be asking me to do that. Dribble it off, dribble it off your knee out there out of bounds. Man, turnover. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He shot that one three early, and now look. he hit that one three. That's, that's what happens when a nigga hit early. Yeah, it's like he's about to shoot warm. that shit every time. Yeah. The funny shit, Rory. Now from now on, you gotta start looking at the kitchen to see if <laughs> to see if a man is wait, waiting to come in. <laughs> Niggas gotta start looking at the table over there. You know when you fuck up and gotta look over. Listen, man. At least at least I'm shooting. Yeah, yeah I'll just let the shot clock go out. When you fuck up, just, someone's trying to. Make something happen on nah, the court. No, that's not true. I'm orchestrating the offense. You, you, you walking oh, straight into the offense? I'm orchestrating. The, oh, okay. Uh, from the uh, box? I didn't say anything. Hmm? From the box? From the post? You did a deal with NBA? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like fucking Jovix, nigga. <laughs> What's his name, Maul? Is that the name? That nigga's nice. He is you nice. was trying to shit on that nigga He's last soft, year. He's soft, though. You bugging. He's nice, he man. That nigga's no, chummy not. chummy. What's soft to you? Every big man. You know man. what? I have to, I'm, I'm bringing chummy chummy back. Chummy chummy. <laughs> no, leave chummy chummy no where it was. Nah. Yeah, I don't know where that was, but nah, yeah. it, put it, it back where you found nah, it. That's, nah, that's backboard. Nah, it, left, it left on purpose. <laughs> nah, that's off the backboard, chummy chummy. That's nah, the old school. Nah. That is old school. So how's it? That now? might be underhanded from the free throw. I was gonna say, was that a sky, that was a sky <laughs> hook? Yeah, <laughs> granny ball. Yeah, yeah. Jovic is soft. Nah, he's nice, Joe. You trust? He me. is nice. He's super nice. Don't say that. Don't but what does soft word. mean now for the big man in the NBA? Chummy, chummy, cuddly, nigga. Nah, who's hard in the NBA? Pause. There's no big man that even played like big men no more. Yeah, but that don't mean you got. If you soft. can't shoot as a big in the NBA right now, you're you're worthless. You know that. Those days is over. Yeah, I think it's soft. Uh, Maul, did you see, uh, well, any of you, but Maul in particular, uh, especially, did you see the video of, of Sebastian Telfair getting uh, sentenced? Oh, uh, yes. 
Yes, I watched it yes, last night. Yes, yes, that's all. Yeah, that's what this. Why I'm in New York? My wife and I'm driving me crazy. What did you think about it? Uh, Sad. They know I'm in New York. Where's that woman to go? My family here. This is in the courtroom. Where's that woman to go? My family here, sir. I lived it and I had a ticket. I'm gone. This must be after the sentence. I don't want no club, never in New York. I believe this is before. I'm here 15 minutes. They said yeah. I'm seeing yeah. them. So I'm just going to do this. Let's do it. Sad. Yeah. Very sad. Or at the sentencing. Yeah. Very, very sad. Prayers, prayers for Sebastian Telfair. I know that whole entire situation was a fucking mess, so I could only imagine how, how he could feel when your family's involved with it. It's not just you getting sentencing for three years off a gun that you legally own, just not in that state, but having your family that involved and, according to him, lying on you, uh, that changes the situation a lot when it comes to just getting sentenced to jail. I'll say it. I said it once. I'll say it again. Be careful of these women that you get with, that you have kids with, that you settle down with. You never know. Yeah. Was yeah. that picture of the, the weapons that were seized, was that real? I believe so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, it's public yeah. Uh, information at this point. Some, some, some but yeah, it's, it's just sad because yeah, like, he uh, does legally own those weapons. Mm. Yeah, I, I put up on, on Twitter prayers for Sebastian Telfair after I saw that video. And my dimensions was flooded of why would I pray for a criminal? Yeah, I'm going to pray. Yeah. Let's say he is a criminal. For real. I'm, I can still He's pray for a criminal. Yeah. I don't think he is, but. Yeah, people don't even know what the word criminal means, but whatever. Yeah, it was really, really sad to watch that video. I got you guys. I got you. Yeah, man. Prayers to the family. I know he so has, he got he three and a half right? years for having g weapons in his car. Yeah, because that they, he legally they, owned. They were legally owned in Florida. He did not have a license to carry them in New York. Yeah, he he purchased them in Florida when he was living in Florida, and he yes. was he was moving to New York, mm. so he was obviously he had his belongings in his car. Yeah, and I, I think uh, during the trial there was a lot of character witnesses, a lot of his close family, which just made it for for a much harder time, more or less. Because a lot of what he's yelling about is a lot of the things that were said about him, not exactly him having that gun. Mm. I, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was going to ask a question, but I don't want to seem like I'm trying to compare. All right, good, good. Just... Let me turn this up. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up, man. A whole lot of sad news been going on, but let me tell you about this pool party. Goddamn! <laughs> I did everything they told me to do. Food trucks, porta potties. Smart move. Lights. <laughs> special guests. <laughs> oh, don't be one of those. <laughs> You Special never know who, who's going to show up. <laughs> Joe Budden and friends. <laughs> Yo, they were already ill. Don't do that. Yo, when niggas used to put the specially invited special Fam. stuff. They still do. No, but the funniest shit, when they really used to do that, the people were just invited. They never confirmed. Yeah, yeah that was the <laughs> That was the trick. loophole. Yeah, them promoters, man. Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing uh? Are you doing birthday packages? I didn't hear you. Are you doing birthday packages? Over a black king singing. <laughs> oh, shut up, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where do y'all? What do y'all? What do y'all want to get to? Do you want to get to uh, malls? Mall questioning how women cheat, or do you want to get to <laughs> Magic Johnson's top sixty male R and B artists? <laughs> Fam, he had DJ Khaled on there. Well, that was his rappers. Yeah, he did. He did singers. He did. I didn't see his rapper list. Oh, his, oh, his rapper list is hilarious. Yeah. Uh, oh, his R and B list. Dougie Fresh was on there. I can see why Dougie it was also. Yeah, but he was like thirteen. Or something. Well, all right, poor poor Magic Fresh, probably right? had his. And DJ you know, I had a Dougie Fresh beef. You had a Dougie Fresh beef. Right, how you had a Dougie Fresh beef? I keep Yo, telling y'all, Joe has beef with everybody. I had a Dougie Fresh why? beef. Why? <sighs> 
because when I was 16 years old. You said you could beatbox better? I went and I did Showtime at the Apollo. That's pretty cool. And cool. I won. Wow. Congratulations. Give yourself an air horn. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's pretty, I, that's no, pretty round dope. of applause. <laughs> and I won, right? For rapping? For rapping. And then they invited me back. How'd your song go? Uh, I don't remember. Damn. I don't remember. And when they invited me back, I rapped again. But Dougie Fresh was the host. He was hard on you? And I didn't win this time. <laughs> but I think he had a lot to do with why I didn't win. Because when I finished... <laughs> He had nothing it, it to wasn't do. You, right? it was like he had nothing to do. The host never. They literally say, Mom. "Make some noise." <laughs> well, no, that's what he said. And then I came out, and I rapped. What was, what was your name? Mouse. Uh, right? I don't know if they said Mouse. Then no, I don't remember. My memory's bad. Uh, yeah, but that's the problem, Maul. He big me up, make some noise for whatever the fuck my name was. And I went out there and rapped. And at that time, this was when I might have been trying to pass out demos and rappers. This was on rap. You ain't yeah, think rappers that's what were signing was another then. rapper. Yeah. And when I finished, <laughs> I think Dougie Fresh, man, that nigga's trash. Get the fuck off the stage. <laughs> oh, you thought some rapper's going to win? Because you won last week, little change. He's got ah, whatever he oh, said. Damn. Oh, damn. Yeah, shit, no, yeah, that's a damn, man. <laughs> so, yeah, Dougie did all that. That's so what when did. I walked back out for the dude to make some noise for I, it was nowhere near the same reception I had just received mm. <laughs> just a week ago. <laughs> for the same record. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I gave him some spice at some point. <laughs> you clapped back once you got on? Yeah. I like, Yo, this I... is for Dougie Fresh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thought I wouldn't make it. <laughs> he thought I wouldn't make he it. Help me back. <laughs> he tried to stop a young oh, king. Shit. Pump me down. <laughs> Parks, <laughs> I'm going to beat your ass. Look at why you beefing with Dougie. Don't, don't take out your Dougie Fresh <laughs> beef on me. <laughs> you brought me down. <laughs> uh... But why did Dougie Fresh come up? Come on, that wasn't what we were talking about. Shout out oh, to Dougie Fresh. Number, yeah, shout out to Johnson's list. Well, I have, I have his Oh, top. yeah, no, wait. I want to diss Dougie Fresh. Dougie, where, <laughs> where would y'all rate Dougie Fresh? Come on, tell the truth. And I'm not trying to diss Dougie Fresh. No, no, he's a legend. Of course, he's a legend. But Dougie he Fresh shouldn't be on a rap be, list, right? Yeah, I don't no, think nah, he would say he nah. should be on a rap list. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he would either. I don't think he would either. Yeah. And we pieced it up. Oh, that's good. I would hope so. We did. When, when did you piece it up? How did that convo I saw Dougie Fresh man times after that. Did you remind him? He reminded me. Oh, word? He remembered you? No, he remembered. At, at one, of, one of them shits <laughs> at some point. Like, oh, man, yeah, I don't worry about that shit back in the day. <laughs> yeah, all right. He, he didn't worry about that shit back in the day when I, I made sure you no, didn't you, win. No, you improved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the Apollo, that's how it used to work, right? You have to go through like Win like three times before yeah. you make it to yes. amateur night. Yeah. Some shit like Yo, that. He had, he had <laughs> I think I won twice too. That's why it was bad. He, yeah, had, he had Dougie Fresh at seventeen. <laughs> he had Jay Z at twenty eight. I see what he's doing though. He's, he's well, going, no, no. He's trying to go in chronological order. No, 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 no. What happened was he, he started one through four is fine, and then it goes into alphabetical order from there on out. So I'm not quite sure how they figured that out. It goes Pac, Big, LL, oh, Run, yeah, DMC, and okay. then after that, it's all alphabetical. All right, okay. I'll yeah. shoot him a little bell then. No. <laughs> How you start? <laughs> why you go yo at five? I think I'll just go alphabetical. <laughs> well, maybe Wait, Tupac why was. Why is DJ Khaled on his? Oh, hip hop artist. Let's see what he did. Uh, I don't okay. care about that. Oh, yeah, this list is trash. <laughs> but I'm talking about his, his R&B list. Though. He got Y Clef on here and not Lauryn Hill. Like, no. Nah. His, his R&B list is number one's Michael Jackson, number two is Prince. Number three, Stevie Wonder. Number four, Teddy Pendergrass. Number five, Luther Vandross. Uh, six, Charlie Wilson. Seven, Jeffrey Osborne. Eight, Smokey Robinson. Nine, David Ruffin. Ten, Al Green. Uh, then I'll just go. He goes Al Jarreau, Al Wilson, Alexander O'Neill, Anthony Hamilton, Avant. See, that's, that's what... Anthony Hamilton, Avant, and then Babyface. This is also in alphabetical <laughs> order, Joe. It starts at number 10 in alphabetical order. He just got the first 10 right. out of the way. <laughs> no. <laughs> now we'll just let the alphabet it's side. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Avant and Anthony <laughs> Hamilton, <laughs> even if it's in alphabetical order, should not be in front of the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can see why Mad they got Mad Johnson out here. All right, come on. Uh, come on, Maul. Why do women cheat? Tell us. <laughs> That's not what the question was. It wasn't why. You never know what you'll yes. hear with the content. No, games. I asked you. I said, when women cheat, do they cheat with gender wars with Maul? <laughs> no. Do they cheat with a guy that they know, or is it a no, random guy? That's all I asked. Maul. And Joe's answer was 
<laughs> it was crazy, but whatever. Nah, I got his answer. Uh, what was crazy about that? Because you said when women leave you, they leave you for a guy that they don't know. Yes. And I don't see how that makes any sense. <laughs> and when they cheat, they're cheating with the guy that they know. Yeah, but I, I got that part. But why that don't? But they- how how is a woman gonna leave you for a nigga she does not know at all? Because women swear they know people and they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they they swear they know him. <laughs> they think they know him. Women live for that infatuation stage. That's sick. <laughs> Leave your man that you've been with for two years for some nigga you just met two wanna, weeks ago. I want to come on in one day and just read my court documents. No, please God, no. Yeah. I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm just telling you what I'll be wanting to do. <laughs> Why though? I don't want to hear that. <laughs> gonna need a lot of outstanding afterwards. Oh my god, <laughs> you gotta play. No, that's gonna be like the, the behind music. That's gonna be the soundtrack while he's reading that shit. Why you don't think a chick a chick will leave you for because you don't know? I'm don't. not saying she wouldn't. I'm just but saying that's crazy. You don't know him. You don't even know what you leaving what me for. Do? She didn't know me. <laughs> Rory, <laughs> relax. Oh, when we got together, you she think didn't Rory really know opens me. Up? <laughs> yeah, come on, more. So you said what she got with you? What? She didn't necessarily know me. She I, th- just, I, th- I think it takes a couple years to know someone. No, no, I agree. I mean, you learn more about a person, but I mean, you don't leave the person you know for the person you don't know. I don't think that makes any sense. That's arrogant, more. What? How? You don't even know what you're leaving me for. Uh, yeah, but, but yeah, she, yeah, that means you're horrible, nigga. Yeah, no, I finally found out who you were. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> at least the person she, I don't know is way out. better. <laughs> That's crazy. But at least you know me. Like you don't know. He might be worse than me. You know well, how that's toxic what, I am. That's what we always say to them. Maul, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> judging by some of the stories Maul was telling me out in L.A., at the, uh, he got a long way to go. What you mean? What stories was, what stories was I telling you? <laughs> they was leaving leaving them for you? Can I, can I say? <laughs> nah. I won't oh, no, no, no. no <laughs> if it's a story I think you're talking about. Yeah, no, you, you, can't, <laughs> you can't talk about that story. No. We got to put that under the rug. No, we, I, we, no, we was talking about... We was talking about uh, what niggas do when they get into their uh, sweet bag? Like, gotta win them over bag. Like, mm-hmm. damn, I fucked up. So, let me let me let me seek forgiveness bag. And mm-hmm. some of those things in your bag was just <laughs> who's in my bag? <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's my shit right there. That's how you get her back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you give it up. That's how you win. Yeah. That's how you win forgiveness, man. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah Mo wasn't in there till 4 p.m. Yeah. Now, now it's right, like, you know, 9 a.m. Because like, the good morning text is probably a real big deal to Mo. He probably got to set an alarm. Send it, go back to sleep. Yeah, his life is mad altered from a good morning yeah, text. Yeah. I snooze at least 10 times. What else is in your uh, forgiveness bag? A joint. Uh, a what? A joint. For sure, you got a spark. <laughs> you got to smoke and talk about it. Yo, so check this out. Yeah, I was tripping. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's it. You want to smoke? That's, that's, that's you want to smoke? Right yeah, like, come that's come through. Right come there. over. Let's smoke. Let's chill. Let's talk about it. <laughs> that's his apology. You'll smoke with me. Yeah. Yeah. What's in y'all? Because y'all making my shit sound trash. No, your, mine is horrible. What's in your What's in your apology? Did bag? Nothing. Nothing. No, I try to change my ways. I try to prove that I'm sorry rather than say it. Mm, you're a man of action, a man of will. <laughs> okay. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, bro. All this nigga do is leave extra bands at Duce for. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you got 15 at the door. Don't worry about it. 15? <laughs> what did I do? You, see, see, that's what I'm saying. You plus 15. Don't worry about it. So plus good. 15. Yeah. yeah, Rory just knock off a whole city. You know what? No, I'm not going to North Carolina no more. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going over there no more. Don't worry about it. I didn't go it. to Detroit. I don't know if you guys noticed. <laughs> I don't know how Sam let you get that off. I don't that's know a great, how, yeah. that was a great city to pick. How. Great city to pick to not go to, Rory. <laughs> Y'all got Detroit wait, fucked up. Wait, the fans. Not that I would know, just from what I've heard. The fans said N- Nikki screamed on Rory during his appreciation episode. <laughs> <laughs> she gave him appreciation. Said, damn, that was damn. supposed to be Rory's appreciation. Yeah, instead episode. of flowers, she I got gave him love. Words. Yeah. No, listen, I told Rory in LA. Rory and Savon, bo- I'm throwing both of them a party, man. <laughs> they just dumb niggas. <laughs> they them niggas. That's it. That's it. Ain't no more to be said. Uh, wait, what was it? Uh, that what- could be misconstrued, by the way. Then unconstrue it. <laughs> I don't need to. I'm just telling you that it could be. It's not. Uh, it's gonna unconstrue it by action. 
Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, not to not be around he's Savon. A, he's a man of action. <laughs> and not be around Savon. Yeah. That helps. And not go to Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all got Detroit fucked up. I'll, I'll show them. <laughs> Why you keep saying, y'all, I've recorded mad songs in Detroit. So you know. I I've been Detroit. to mad strip clubs in Detroit, and yeah. that's when you really find out about yourself. And Joe hated every minute of being in Detroit. He was on that conference call going ham when they were talking about coming back. <laughs> I will I, not I, I will pay for quad myself <laughs> Joe was not going back To Detroit to record That wasn't happening That's not true don't do What? That. You used to That's be That's not that. true Don't Joe, do Joe you that. was not going back To Detroit No I thought we should I thought we should share Like yeah. cities <laughs> I bet you did Two of us is from New York Okay One of us is from LA And it's expensive To record out there mm-hmm. Yeah middle ground And then Meet in the middle Yeah meet in the middle Detroit the mid, Meet in the middle Of the, state, of the, of the country Nah Y'all come from nah. Y'all come from the, uh, So you want everybody nah. To come to the east Me and Joel are here Trust Blaze is here Bodegas are here Bodegas <laughs> Sandwiches sir. Nah, that means a lot Sandwiches are important yeah. Listen enough about that though Cause you try to uh, Give me shit on with Detroit And I fuck with Detroit You really learn about yourself In Detroit strip clubs Like especially on an off night yeah, like, <laughs> about, about how, how far you take it. <laughs> you learn how much integrity you have in Detroit in oh, a strip yeah. club on an off night. Yeah, <laughs> you learn how much integrity you have. See, I wish we was real and we could all come in here and talk about that one Detroit chick that we had. <laughs> <laughs> More things that can misconstrue. Nah, I, oh, I didn't mean it like that. Y'all know what I mean. Though. Everybody got the a listeners. Little, everybody got a little Detroit chick in the stash. Oh. Don't, don't try to look up Parks. Rip That's right funny. here. Just shut up. Sit down. Somewhere. Hey, you and Rory, sit down. An all real nigga come. Yeah, 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 let yeah, me and Maul take yeah, this yeah, thing yeah, to the next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Single man shit. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I mean. Yeah. So tell us about these Detroit yeah. women. <laughs> Relax. That's funny. What's in my forgiveness bag? I'm proposing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, there's something wrong with you. He's not lying. That's I the know, funny thing. Really you, th- you think he changed his strategy up by now? <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell you why Joe is sick. No, 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 no. Yo, you just told him why. No, I'm sick. no, no. this ain't to tell him why I'm why Joe is sick. Why? No, because that is what I did. <laughs> Proposed. Yo, I remember this, yo. When you proposed to Terry, dog, this nigga didn't speak to Terry for two months. I came back, he like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just go ahead and get the ring. I was like, for who? <laughs> what are you talking about? For T. For Terry? I'm like, you haven't seen or spoken to her in two months. Yeah, that's swag, nigga. I was like, no, it's not. No, it's not, nigga. You have not spoken to this woman in two months. How are you going to pop up with a ring? He's like, yeah, all right. Well, all right, do your thing. By the we, way, that is exactly we see how that how male friends tell their other male friends that they're proposing. We was in Yo, Sin just City. Got, just got this ring. Who's in the strip club when he told me? Oh, God, trying to tell us the future. <laughs> <laughs> see? See? He was trying to. Look where we was at in Sin City, <laughs> ass all around. He told me, "Yeah, I'm gonna propose to you." I was like, "What?" Yeah, right, wait, look you at just said this story. <laughs> I you couldn't, know? no, because I couldn't believe that. Right, well, so now that you say that is your propo- that is your, your apology bag, text I believe me you. How you couldn't believe it. All right, my bad. <laughs> but I believe you now. Now I believe that's Joe, your bag. Yeah, Joe 100%. either propose or give her a light 160 bars. Yeah, <laughs> some light. A whole, maybe, maybe a whole maybe a whole mixtape. Yeah, boy, boy, toxic boy. toxic <laughs> bars. Yo, all all of us is are mad toxic. Now that I think back. You said we're mad toxic? No, all of the OLSs are mad toxic now that I look back at it. Oh, uh, you think? <laughs> they were great. <laughs> Listen, man, toxic things can be pretty entertaining. Absolutely. That's, yo, we ain't, um, I'm trying to get back to our criteria list. Over there, but uh, I don't think I get my just due when it comes to relationship talk and bars either. By the way, that's oh, yeah, you, that's, that's you, you at the top of that. I don't, no, they don't put me at the top of that. Who? Oh, let me tell y'all. Let me let me round of applause for you guys. Well, really for me. Fuck y'all. Uh, that top three episode. <laughs> it's top three. <laughs> that, that no, it's number one. <laughs> it's number one. Which one? Top, top three. three. Oh. You know the vibes. Don't make me bring the vibes back. You remember the vibes. Dumb, All right. Dumb, dumb you, you, annou- you announcing that now. Wait till Nikki get the numbers. She's going to go She gonna go on a numbers rant when we get back that episode. Mm. Why? How would she know our numbers? Never mind. It was a Nikki You're not gonna charts post joke. How many turnovers Rory got? 
<laughs> I'm asking. How should be going over your heads. That's all. Mm. Hold up. Get in your bag, Joe. That's your apology bag too, a record. That's weird. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. A light, I said a light one. That's your way of saying yeah. sorry. Yeah. Light one fifty. That's your yeah. that's your apology bag. Do y'all think there's any truth to uh to what Nikki said about I only talk bad about rappers that I think I can rap better than? But you think you could rap better Do than you, every? You rapper? only talk I bad would, about rappers. No, no. What did she say? I can't. She really said. Remember. She said. You talk so much shit because yeah, that's basically what she said. Because you feel like you rap. Well, I never heard you talk things. shit about Nas or Jay. So yeah, she's right. Well, according to this podcast, Nas. Well, that's true. They think we hate Nas. <laughs> Why do they? Think I don't we- know. Because <laughs> we love Jay. We got to give him a Nas appreciation uh, podcast. I've only played nine Nas sleepers on Lord, the Friday Lord podcast. <laughs> yeah, Rory, Rory. I need to know all the artists that Rory stands for. He has played a lot of Nas sleepers. I have. Parks has two, I feel like. Yeah, at least two or three. I'm just looking for one particular. Let me see. That nigga's nice, man. Look, y'all bad. Y'all be mad when I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, and, and don't feel I see, bad. I see when what I, you're doing. Now I, we got your number one episode is you playing your music. <laughs> now we got to sit and listen to it. <laughs> yeah, hey. It, it finally char- you finally charted. <laughs> if, if it ain't broke, don't break it. <laughs> that counts as a stream? You finally charted. Why I ought to. <laughs> Maul, I hear you over there. I'm just asking, is it, does this count as a stream? No, it, it should. It should, though. It should. I, I, I don't, I'm not saying it should. I was, I'm asking. I didn't know. They have a lot to fix. Oh, they yeah, have a yeah. lot to they fix. They're still trying enough. to figure it out. They're oh. still trying to figure it out. Maul. It should, though. I yes. was looking for a part, but... Should I play my Ron Brown set right now for you? You have one? Seriously? <laughs> I'm interested to see you play a Ron Brown set. I would like to hear this. You don't got no Ron Browns in your surroundings. Well, tell the people why we're saying this. Well, because we, I feel like, a, but and Parks and well, They heard it to begin. Yeah, we talked about it. We feel like Ether is like a terrible beat, one of the most horrible beats and one of the most legendary moments in hip-hop history. Yeah. That's a fair assessment. And um, you're saying that, but Ron has some shit. You, you can play a whole set. So I said, I would like to hear it. Killed you, Ether, boy. He made Ether. That's why. Oh, uh, that's what that means? Yes, Parks. Oh. Uh. I just want to say that this is not helping our New York bias argument. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ma. Don't try and not dance, nigga. You remember this. I remember this for sure. Yeah. You didn't. You didn't dance in the club when this parking. Oh, uh, you didn't sing with it. You definitely had your shirt showing your belt tucked right in. I never <laughs> did that nastiness. <laughs> Holy, drop the beat. Come on. Wait. Hey, hey. Why are you? This you is. This want to get light. You want to get light. Beat, you want to get. You want. I can see it. This is better than the eat the beat. Slightly. Parks. That's better than the eat the beat. Hey, hey, hey! Huh? This, and he ain't even he ain't even put like French or, or somebody on this. Imagine if you don't play Ebonics and call it a day, or jumping out the window. Well, that was coming up. They had to end with jumping out the oh, window. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, okay. and I see you said my bad. But more heard this. Come on, they was playing this in Harlem. Don't do that, more. Of course they were. Exactly. So what are you talking about? You can't play a Ron Brown set. That's, and more, more just hating because he never got a rap money. That's two songs. <laughs> Oh. No, he was over there in Dubai with us. <laughs> oh my! All right, that has. That's it. <laughs> Yo, what? Let it play. I'm, I'm just glad that the producer tag game has come so far. He wasn't feeling either, boy. Leveron put out a track tomorrow. That same tag will be right there. <laughs> Yeah, he was kind of ahead of the game. This was it, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm jumping out the window Yes, you are. <laughs> this is like Jello. <laughs> this is like Jello. Are you out of key with Y'all the Y'all like this was not a popping record. No, we not saying it wasn't. Yo. It was an era. Yo, but well, wait, time out. It was out. a short one, but, but it was an era. What said was true, though. Wait, time out, though, because this is my era when they used to put this in all the backgrounds. Hey, hey, Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey, that was a funny and those hey, specific claps too. Hey, hey. So they sneak them in now sometimes. So I yeah, think I do. just heard a record the other day. Oh, a Russ album I heard a record yeah. where they snuck in a. It was quick, but it was hard. <laughs> All right, I'm cutting this off. Maul, give us your deep dive. 
on what the on a Ron he's Brown set. Yes, it's a, he got some records. He got a few records for sure. I, you can't front on Ron Brown. He definitely has a few records. I just hate to eat the beat. I hate that shit. I'm with you. He does have records though. So. Um, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle is doing a uh, new Netflix, new Netflix uh, stand up. Is it stand up? It is stand up. So, All yeah. of it is stand up. I'm well, sure. I mean, there wasn't too much context. It says comedy event, so I don't know if that's him putting something together. No, I don't but know if I, that's... no, it was. I saw a video. Oh, okay, I saw a video of him uh, walking in the desert. Oh yeah, no, that's what yeah. I'm talking about. At the end, it said Dave Chappelle comedy event August 26th. Yeah, it sounds like stand up to me. I don't I'm know. sure to be a stand up. Yeah, August 26th is a Monday. I'm watching it. Absolutely. Yeah, Morgan Freeman narrating. I thought that was dope. That it's always good dope. to hear from Morgan. <laughs> Shouldn't he have a nickname? No, he doesn't have a nickname. But he should. What would his nickname be? Morg. God. Morg. Or God. I'll take God, too. Uh, well, <laughs> there's our Dave Chappelle deep dive. Well, no, I want to know, because uh, the contract that they initially signed that was for all that shit ton of money, he fulfilled that, right? Stop counting people's money. Yeah, we're no, I'm talking about the amount. Pockets, right? guys, Damn, I'm talking that's about, a little gossipy, don't you think? Talking about the <laughs> amount of specials that was in the deal that was put out to the public. <laughs> oh. I believe it was three that he fulfilled. In any case, I hope this doesn't mean that he's going to disappear again for another decade. No, I think that's over. I thought that was going to happen after this whole 2017 when he put out four. I was like, well, we'll never hear his stand-up again. Right. <laughs> but nah. but it it looks like he fulfilled that contract plus another one. I don't know how they're counting those those two together. I mean, maybe he signed another deal. That's four total. Either way, more Dave Chappelle content is great. More, yeah. more and Dave. not frowned upon. Word. I'm here for it. More yeah. Dave. I'm going to see it. Yeah. yeah I got to see the other two. Yeah, I gotta find the other two. Yeah, like the mis- mystery specials. They're uh, not on Netflix. No, they're all no, they Netflix. Are. Oh, they're all just bundled together. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, did y'all hear uh, that uh, Epstein's Epstein's uh, bodyguard is talking? No, but I did see that they found uh, like broken neck bones in his esophagus that indicate strangulation, although they don't know for sure. Okay. Well, yeah, they say he hung himself. Well, yeah, that could still happen. Well, no, they said that it's more indicative of being strangled. I have it here. Epstein autopsy reportedly shows broken neck bones more consistent with homicide than suicide. Okay. Ooh. (laughs) What a shocker. The autopsy conducted in the wake of Jeffrey Epstein's death by apparent suicide shows the financier suffered multiple breaks in his neck bones, which, while possible, during instances of suicidal hanging, the Washington Post reports, is more commonly found in homicide victims of strangulation. The Epstein uh, autopsy has not yet been made public, but the Post reporting, based on multiple sources familiar with the results, shows that the circumstances surrounding Epstein's death while awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges remain deeply shrouded in mystery. Even if they find out it was a homicide, no one's going to know. You know what I'm saying? Someone's just going to take the rap for it. and they're going to make somebody that that had nothing to do with it take the rap for it. Or that. No, yeah. that go. Well, well, what do y'all believe? Uh, he was murdered. It's something it funny murdered. for sure. Yeah. It's something, some funny business. Yeah, he he had to go. He was he was great at. I feel like he was great at bring down a lot mm-hmm. of or mention a lot of powerful names. Yep. Agreed. And they couldn't have that. <clears throat> yeah, I, I was reading up on him. He had the name names. Yeah, <laughs> he was the he was the plug. He, he was had, the one bringing them in. He had the blacklist. Yeah. Yep. Six shit. And yeah, we'll never find out. No. Nah. Still waiting on the Sandra Bland shit to come out. Yes, they're not going to do that either. They ain't right. tell us shit. Did anybody watch the uh, the Meek Doc? I didn't see it yet. I didn't get a chance yet. Nah, I don't have You watched it? It's good? I heard it's real good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bunch, I got to find a bootleg. I don't fuck with him. We talked about watching the movies in LA. Yeah. You said you had Netflix on your phone. Didn't actually see it, though. Well, oh, it's on uh, it's Amazon. It's on Amazon, yeah. See, it's not on Netflix. On, yeah. Oh, Amazon. Yeah, no, it's on oh. Amazon. Damn, that's that Netflix on the phone thing, I got to tell you, man, that shit kind of changed my life a little bit. <laughs> this is not an ad. Deal. This is yeah, not an ad. Yeah, that's a real deal. Netflix on the phone, this might be my first L.A. trip. I didn't leave the room. <laughs> I ain't hit Crazy Girls, Sam's. <laughs> What's the Sam, other Sam's one? Sam's still open? What's, Sam's is still open. Sam's still open. Sam's yeah. is 100. Sam's is not closing soon. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sam's, Sam's is a staple. Yeah, that's yeah. happening. What's that other one? I, I listen. Netflix on the phone is the move. Thank you, Maul. Yeah. Thank, thank you for putting me on to that. Well, yeah, it's dope. You knew about strippers it. Strippers are yeah. a little upset. Yeah. I've been using. Uh, I knew about it, but I never downloaded it until Maul said it was the shit. Yeah. Oh, it needed the Maul stamp. He did the Maul <laughs> stamp. I assumed that it would it would lag unless you had the greatest Wi Fi ever. No, I'd be on regular LTE. Yeah. It should be fine. Yeah. Is the Maul stamp pink now? Uh, that's a good <laughs> question. 
No. <laughs> Still red. Is it called pink print? No. <laughs> okay. Is it called? Joe, <laughs> I can't ask you that. You know it's not called pink print. Did y'all say? How do I know what your stamp is called? Did y'all? Did y'all see? Uh, oh shit! I ain't asked y'all earlier when we was talking about uh, Nick. Do y'all put anything? And I'm not starting any Nick Cardi shit. I'm asking a regular question. Mm -hmm. After our now, now you starting it. After our interview, Cardi tweeted all of these stats about not being on a list, but her album <laughs> still selling and blah 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 blah. Yeah, she replied. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like a reply. I didn't see the tweets. It's a response. Yeah, we, we know a response. it's a response. We yeah. know that. I hate it's a stats. response. I hate rap stats. Rap stats are so weird. <laughs> rap stats, rap stats are really weird. They really are. And they're getting weirder. They are. I don't think that's a good way to even gauge war between yeah. rappers, rap stats. Yeah. But they, they stopped letting it be words. Yeah. So how do you do it? Every, like, everything is like analytics Nikki now. Said, Nikki said, I'm top 10 dead or alive, male or female, right? And then Shauna from Philly, who I, I saw that, who I fucking super, super, super respect her pin game, but it's been a while, of course. Mm -hmm. um, Shauna from Philly or Chicago? Chicago, probably. Chicago, Chicago. Yeah, now, yeah. Wait, who am I thinking about from Philly? Oh, fuck, that's fucked up. I'm getting her confused with, oh, that Philly chick is nice. Now this is going to bother me. Uh, younger or older? She's older now, I'm sure. Bahamadia? Not Bahamadia. It came after her. Damn it, that's gonna bother me. The fans are gonna tell me exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. There's a super obviously nice not. Eve. He's not talking about Eve, guys. Yeah, not Eve. Um, but yeah, Shauna, who can rap, I I really respect her pen. Uh, -huh. uh, said she had something to say about that shit, and all the barbs responded with, with rap stats because what does Nikki look like responding to Shauna? Mm -hmm. But Shauna, that was down with DTP. DTP, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. That's Buddy Guy's daughter too. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. The girl I'm talking about had a single out and everything. And like it was a, she was killing. No, her name was like Miss something. Miss Jade. Miss Jade. Oh, Miss Jade was nice. Miss yeah, Jade was, was, was nice, nice. nice. Miss Jade was nice. nice, nice. She was nice. Oh yeah. damn. Okay, Philly. Oh, uh, Miss Jade was nice. Miss <laughs> Jade was if nice. Add her to the Philly list. Yeah. She was nice. Philly has some niggas, man. I can't lie. Philly, Philly can rap. Yeah, but Ms. Philly Jay Jersey nice. really. <laughs> wasn't wasn't Ms. was Miss J fucking with Timberland at one point? Like yeah. was she under that? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. That's yeah, that was the single I heard. Yeah, where she killed that shit. And Philly is Jersey. Don't do that, Roy. We're one. Yeah, we'll stop Jersey. Listen, once you pass exit eight on the turnpike, we in Philly, goddamn. <laughs> shit. Once no, it I, start getting like five miles between exits, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, it's different. You know after the vibe. Exit ten, it's, yeah, it's kind of a sure. show for everything. Mm -hmm. But no, I can't be mad at Cardi for saying that because Cardi came into rap and said. Hey, I'm just here to make a lot of money. And I'm never mad at that. Yeah. So, I mean... I think everyone in music wants to make a lot of money. I agree. I wish but, people would stop I saying they don't do it for She's made it kind of clear that that was well, no, her, her really there's, only goal going in. There's plenty of people that do it for that's true, most the art. Part yeah. Part. yeah. I, I think Cardi Wait, said, what? hey man... There's I'm a lot of people that do it for the art. I'm not saying that people don't do it for the art, but yeah. people definitely do it for the money. Where's Common on your list? I don't know. 27. Off the top of my head. Common would be that low? Maybe higher, yeah. That, Could be higher. That low. 27 Why is a really is good ranking. 27 low? All right, we're confusing what low and high is here. I'm saying low towards number one. Yeah. Oh, got it, got it, got yeah. it, got it. He might, be, he might be higher than that. Ha lower, whatever. He might be closer to closer number, to number one. one. Yes. Oh, wow, okay. He's got two classic albums I'm not, and a I'm bunch of- I'm never mad at Common. A bunch of I was, other really good albums. Which, and which I was are, shocked which, he was on which, No res, One's Top 50. What's the other classic? Resurrection and B. I think, and both, a, I think both those are classic. And a couple of the uh, the other one that came out that Kanye did around B. Um, I forgot what it was called off the top of my head now. You it was great. Relax. Uh, Tastes like water of chocolate. That was also, a, no, to me, a classic that album. That's not that. Who's the best rapper turned actor? Will Smith. LL. I'm trying to get us off of where Common is. <laughs> He's a rapper turned actor. He hasn't done enough uh, maybe, acting. Maybe Bow Wow. <laughs> no, I think Will Smith is. LL Cool J. Pac. Yeah, Pac. It's Pac. Is Pac better than Ella at rapping? Yes. Okay. Pac is 1B on my list. I'm not saying, uh, like, all the sliders, obviously Pac would be... Well, I don't want to say obviously. Ella is probably underrated to some degree. But at rapping, rapping, do you think he's better than Ella? Oh, no. Pac is not on that list for me. Okay. On that list. Yeah. But okay. I have to put him two. Of course, yeah. Because of what he did. And yeah. 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 I was yeah. thinking about that in L.A. Like, that still ain't too... I would like to try to figure out how many albums came out since Machiavelli that are better than Machiavelli. 
I would love to do that one day. Not and, and the How many albums that came out after Machiavelli? Ma- Machiavelli and Life After Death. I'd like to do it with both of those. Not a ton. I don't think it's a whole bunch. How many rap albums that came out better, after better, Machiavelli? Or just on the same death? plane, at least. Same, same plane. And what, and what was that? 97? Same, same plane or better. 97. Same plane. It came out at- 97. Definitely what? 97. We can look these things up, guys. I, I know. Dude, you don't have to look it up. I okay. guarantee you it was 97. All right, go ahead. Uh, Life After Death and uh, Machiavelli. Same year as Wu-Tang Forever. I don't think it's going to be a... a, a what is, look at that year. What is, look at that. Listen yeah, it that. came out in 96. Machiavelli? Yeah. November 5th, 1996. Oh, okay. Well, it was that's close 90, enough to 97. I remember that's, that's close yeah. enough. Yeah. That's 97. All right. I don't think it's going to be a whole lot of them. I'll tell you that. Whole lot as in, you, I don't think you'll get to 25. Uh, Finding Forever was that common album. Yeah, Finding Forever. And the other one around the time F- of Pharrell Resurrection did. with the uh, Lauryn Hill song was a great album, too. Uh, yeah, you didn't like his electronic album? I, did not I was like one of the album. few people that liked that album. That Universal album Mind good. Control, I thought I hate, was dope. I Although it. the uh, the remix that Pharrell did, I forgot what that fucking shit was called now. God damn it. It had uh, Macy Gray on it, I think. It was a dope song. Come Close. Off I Universal Mind Control? It was no. a dope song. It was off that album, yeah. There's a couple good songs Man, in that album. Rory, can you stop saying Universal Mind Control? <laughs> That's the one with the electronic one. You I just know. asked about it. Oh, wait. I know, but stop saying I that. thought you were talking about Electric Circus. He had a couple... Uh, Nah, the whack. Yo, what's the whack one? Hold up, man. I know yeah, you're, you're talking about like, Universal. No, fucking whack. You're one. talking Don't do about. That. I like it though. I know you talk about this album though, because I got killed when I was like, that yo, yo, is, is anyone hard. feeling this? Yeah, this there, was like before internet shit. There was two of them that were both like really too weird. For nah, me. I was on the internet saying it was. That bad. was after the body. I remember going yeah, into yeah. my college cafeteria and be like, yo, that new common album's dope, right? And just getting yelled at. For and that's and that's why I fucking hate these fucking college kids. That is why because. They, they get this attachment to certain music that came out then that maybe it wasn't the greatest. You just having a blast in the dorm. Well, okay. that's how... That's like, how you was turning up to whatever Universal Mind Control? I don't think that I don't, that's dorm. That wasn't up. my dorm <laughs> shit. <laughs> I think it was. Nah. That, that, that dorm was trash. <laughs> that dorm ain't have no <laughs> bitches. That's a shitty dorm. You ain't have no like bitches in that dorm at all. How come Rory don't come in there and ever give us some of the dope college stories? Like... What happened in college? Maybe he got kicked out. He got kicked out. It wasn't that dope. He was definitely playing Universal Mind Control. That's why they kicked him out. Loud in the (laughs) door. That's sick. That's how he like, yo, buddy upstairs with the Universal Mind, get him the fuck out of here. (laughs) Buddy upstairs. (laughs) Buddy upstairs that keeps blasting that shit every night, get him the fuck out of here. Roy's in his room trying to get pumped. (laughs) Yeah, he was break dancing. (laughs) It's a Universal Mind. Doing the head spins. (laughs) In a little ass dorm room. (laughs) Roy. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god Yo. Hey That was Joe shit Joe used to play that Wait, dumb turn loud turn it down Yo Or off Yo why do yeah, or, or, <laughs> off, off is an option too <laughs> Get get it Rory You wasn't trying to get get it <laughs> That's a nasty flow and everything No 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 no. That's... Song was hard too can you turn this bullshit <laughs> off? This song wasn't bad, though. This song yeah, was hard. This song wasn't bad. There was a couple good songs in that. I'm but why do niggas think that they could go to Pharrell for the extra weird record and it's going to be cool? It usually works. It works sometimes. Yeah, that's why. That's sometimes Pharrell. it don't. No, sometimes <laughs> it don't. But that's Pharrell. The whole Neptune's album where it was just them and then they had like, the rock band playing on it. That shit was a great album. If it you was put weird Chad in any group, it'll work. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Fair. Now shout out to Chad, If man. Chad would have stood next to Common. He don't get his flowers. Chad, Chad got to no, get his Chad doesn't get his flowers. This album came out Chad, after what album? I don't album? think Chad wants his flowers. After so I think he wants to be left alone. The, uh, Kanye shits. Kanye yeah. didn't stand next to him during this one, right? No. It was, was just this lasers was, and this shit. This was Neptune's. <laughs> this was a Neptune's album. Yeah, it was Neptune's. <laughs> I think Ye had a couple on there. No, nah, I, I think that nigga wrong. went to make some movies after this one. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, nah Ye's not on it all. It's all Neptune's. No, Mr. Yeah. DJ. <laughs> yeah, I bet he does miss the DJ. <laughs> oh, but he's listed as an exec exec producer. Who? Kanye. Oh, because he owned the label. I didn't realize it was on good. Yeah. Damn, I want to see. I want to know Kanye's deal with Def Jam so bad. <laughs> Why? He's had Yo, that com- deal com- for a long, long time. Yeah. He's had that deal for a and long they had time. That run. is a great, great grandfather deal. They had a run. That's I, true. They I, had a lot of good albums on that good imprint. I'm just looking at Common's discography outside of that one. We can say that one. But Dreamer Believer was great on good music. Uh, yeah, that was that was the one that No um, ID no did, did right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Only here will you get the common and the Ron Browns. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the balance. <laughs> the range is undeniable. The range from downtown. <laughs> <laughs> do y'all care about? Uh, do y'all care about? Uh, M- Probably not. Oh. <laughs> 
fellow. I had a question I had, I had off of our common shit, and I fucking forgot. But it was, oh, the it was, Machiavelli thing that no, we, we kind of got we off, off of that. I don't care about that anymore. That common question took me somewhere more. More maybe forget, but whatever. Do y'all care about uh, <laughs> Empire shooting where Jesse got beat up at? That's hilarious. <laughs> no, I spoke about that. Now. I, That's I hilarious. That one too. That's funny. God, they got me. That's funny. I'm tuning in. I'm now. tuning in. <laughs> great, great job. Yo, y'all are so easy to. <laughs> Joe, that's not Man. like gangster. That's not like saying, yo, listen, <laughs> fuck y'all and what y'all be talking about, nigga. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what we filming at, nigga. You don't think it's corny? That shit is no. funny. I think, no, I think, think, I think Empire is corny. That's so true. it works perfect. Yeah. If you're corny, you're allowed to do corny <laughs> shit. I just want to see the episode for that scene, like where, when they play that scene. I'm Will not gonna watch the subway whole, placement. I'm not gonna see the whole season. I just want to know when they show that when they film there. Yeah, I, I want to. If a nigga get beat the di- up I in the that dialogue scene, is. yeah, if a nigga get beat up in that scene, it's like, ah, right, now y'all wilding. <laughs> y'all wilding. <laughs> nah, you gotta have a subway sandwich. Yeah, you <laughs> definitely do. So what if they nah. replace the subway with like just like a Quiznos? Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Same shit. I'm down. A blimpy. That's, that's that's disrespectful. Blimpy. I'll watch though. All right, so y'all don't care. No, I care. I'm gonna watch. I like it. I like the move. I'm pretty far behind on Empire. I, <laughs> I'm gonna not know one. Are, are the lions even in it still? I don't know. I've never seen one episode of Empire. For real? The first never. season was intriguing, but then it got yeah, way I, too. They lost me. Yeah. I think TV's having the same problem that music is having. I saw uh, I saw a clip with Rhapsody saying it's something like every time a new song comes, it's like five thousand new songs at a time that drop. I mean, not movies, but TV shows. Like mm-hmm. TV shows got to do a lot to sustain the audience. Yeah, yeah. Once, like, once, there's so many good shows out yeah. right now. Once, uh, yeah. once Jesse couldn't figure out if he was gay or not with Alicia Keys, I, I was done with that show. <laughs> Don't I miss, do that. I I miss that episode. Kids right now who can't figure out if they're gay or not. <laughs> yeah, but he was like 35. <laughs> Just, and and been in mad gay relationships. Don't do that. AC Green was confused grabbing rebounds. <laughs> Yo, Joe, always go at AC. Yeah, leave AC I need to know, alone, man. Yo, I need to know what's your beef for AC. What he do, man? You shit on you with the uh, open I've, mic I've too. Never... <laughs> what he do, man? Tell you got to tell me what AC Green is. He was in the Apollo that no. night. Like you, whenever you just go right at AC Green. Uh, like why? I, there's some other people I can say. No, but I, no, but you go at AC though, because he's well. I go at him because as a youth, mm-hmm. <laughs> when I first heard that, when I was watching the game, mm-hmm. I didn't know what y'all what they were saying. Okay. I didn't understand that. <laughs> so when you became an adult, <laughs> like that's <a> girl. <laughs> that, that's kind of swag. <laughs> Joe is Yo, stupid. If I'm a gay dude, I get the fucking crazy. AC Green is is he is he gay? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. He was a virgin and he posted up a lot with no post game. <laughs> so what that tell you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> sure. What? Wait, no, come on. Oh, wait. That wasn't as bad. That wasn't on, bad. That wasn't, as, that wasn't as bad. Fam, you know I'm rolling. Mean? I'll leave that in there. I'm rolling. Ah, I'm rolling. On. Fuck that. I'm rolling. Talking about, you can't talk about posting up? Yeah, nah. Without, post, without a post up game? Yeah, you can't just have your back to the basket all night. <laughs> 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 Why did AC be yeah. all these strays on the ball? Give me the ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? <laughs> like, yeah. Give me that shit back. Like, you know, okay. <laughs> give me the fucking ball, man. Oh, so yo, if up. AC Green is ever demanding the ball in the post, I'm waving him off. <laughs> Let me see what hey, AC move, average in his career. Move man. it. 6.9. Really? I don't know. Oh, yes, <laughs> Why do we shit on AC Green? You, you did. You bought him. Yeah, up. but now you want to bring up his stats like he was averaging thirty. <laughs> he was not. Find out. He wasn't. No, he definitely was averaging thirty. His uh, high might not have been thirty. Oh, his career high. His not, career average ain't bad. Nine point six average. Seven rebounds. That ain't bad. Hard on that go. team, that's what. Wait, if that do. ain't bad, then we, we gonna revisit this Sean on Bradley that thing. <laughs> <laughs> on that team, hey, I know, I know that team. We gonna revisit the Sean Bradley thing. Damn no, it, on that, that team, ain't he ain't had to do much. Yeah, Wayman Tisdale was doing all the, the hard work. Rest in peace. I ain't talking to nobody. Wayman Tisdale, nah, he's on the Lakers. <laughs> More want everybody to be on the Lakers. <laughs> he was on the Lakers. He was on the Lakers. So that don't change my sentence. <laughs> no, I'm just saying he didn't have to do much with that fucking monster team they had. Uh, we ain't talking about ASAP at all. What are you want to talk about? His, his, he, what, he was what, found guilty. Yeah, but he just got, like I said, probation, something like that, right? I think he has to pay. It was, it was a lot. It was. Yeah, I feel it was, like it was like twenty grand. But we so. knew money was. Yeah. That's all it was about. Mm, just wanted no, I think he paid. They wanted fifteen grand, and he gave him like fifteen on it. Oh, they have to split that between three of them. <laughs> 
No, wait, what? <laughs> Good. That's like Shorty tried to sue me with that the dog bit her. And she wanted 15 grand. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good luck with that. Because a dog bit you, you got to relax. Well, first of all, damn, Brooklyn bit me once too. Is that bite, what you giving up? The dog up? didn't yeah. bite anyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's first of all. Now that I have a number. Yeah, Br- Brooklyn got me one time. I still got a scar. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah. Yeah, Brooklyn used to be tripping a lot. <laughs> yeah, it, it, calm now. Yeah, it's fine. He's calm. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? Uh... You care about the Swaley and Drake record coming out tonight? Whose record is it? Sway's or? Swaley's. Yeah. I was interested in Afro that. Beats? No, I don't think they're going to do that. You don't think so? I think that's I the was, vibrations? I was interested in that record. Um, <clears throat> Not that record, but I saw him tease. I saw him tease a record called Sextasy. <clears throat> and I'm interested to hear it. Yeah, I have, I have high expectations for all Sway Lee music. Yeah, they put out enough good material, <clears throat> especially as Sway Lee Drake record too. Yeah, it'll how be long, a bop. How, how long do you think his run will be? Um, I think yeah, he's talented enough to have a long run. Sway Lee. Yeah. yeah. You saying Dolo or Ray Swimmer uh, included? No, no, worry. Dolo. Yeah, we, so we, we ain't really heard too much about Ray Swimmer. No, they, they put they out, put out a, that their triple, last project they disc. did was... And then after that, there was a whole big commotion about Slim Jimmy separating himself, and then he apologized, but that was after five videos, and Sway Lee never really said they, anything they, about it. They just were together. Like, they well, hang out a lot. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying that this was a thing at one point, mm-hmm. and we haven't heard a Ray Schremer song since then, that's yeah. all I'm saying. And now we're getting more Sway Lee music. Hmm. Could have been the plan, regardless of maybe that, that whole thing. Maybe but, maybe we'll get some Jimmy music soon. I'm just saying what is happening now. But to answer your question more, I think Sway Lee's gonna be around for a little while. Yeah, I think he's got a I unique, think he's unique enough that. sound. What mm-hmm. is a little while with the life expectancy of rap today? What is a little while? Well, he's not rap. When you say a little while, I think he's surpassed the rapper. Us- the usual title. life. <laughs> he's not a rapper. But what what is he? Uh, <clears throat> did, he did he make man's first- top R and B list? <laughs> <laughs> We didn't get to the in the R's. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get to the. R's. We didn't get to the, R's. <laughs> the S's. Yeah. Um, what is he? He's not rap. Is it? Could it be class uh, classified as hip hop? I Maybe. think on that that first album they was rapping. Was Young Thug? They they got more melodic, but they were rapping on that first one. Young Thug is hip hop. Is he a rapper? Uh, he's a trapper. Is it me or is Aubrey doing a lot? As far as what? Features and stuff. Yeah, he's. It feels. It feels like he's been on everything almost. He does this every year. I was gonna say I, this isn't out of this isn't out of his character at all. Summertime run. If, if he don't have a project out, you st- he's still in your ear. Yeah, he makes sure of that. He's been doing that for I can't remember how long. He's gonna you're, be on the hottest right. record. He's gonna you're be right. on the hottest record. You're right. I don't know why it feels different to me right now. Maybe yeah. because of the Chris <laughs> Brown reconciliation. Maybe that was bigger. The video, like he he normally don't ain't doing videos with everybody. But that was a moment. That was a moment. I think this is going to be a moment. Uh, sure. I don't think it. it as far as press and news he and gave, everything of them two he gave together, Ross two. Yeah. And that's not uncommon. But <clears throat> we mean gave Ross two money in the grave. And, that's uh, his record. Gold roses. <laughs> it was a trade. Yeah, he didn't give him two. Does one is his record, one is Ross's record. Money on the Grave is Drake's record. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was on that it little was in that uh, Tupac. championship two pack. Two pack Shakur. Yeah, <laughs> There's a lot of two packs coming up. You niggas don't two packs is a thing. Off. This is a two pack. How is that not a Drake record? No, it is a Drake record, but that's not the same favor I call you to jump on my Lucy it's Lucy I'm putting out and then I'm jumping on your album. Even though I'm putting the Lucy out immediately, they just nah. They don't know. They need to like just that. go ahead and record that. They album. don't normally go like that. They just need a whole project together. That's what they need to do. Fuck that Tui. I think they said Ross is projected to do eighty. Oh yeah, that's okay. solid. That's really good. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Holy shit! Wow, good for Ross. Good album. So we were wrong. So good it has worked. Yeah. I just wish I would have heard Big yeah, Time I, and Gold I, Roses. I, I'll be honest with you I think we were talking Off mic Before the Nikki episode I had Ross at maybe 55 Would have been my guess So that I'm far what I thought I'm wrong about a lot of shit I'll be be honest (laughs) I cannot believe Because there's no real way To gauge shit anymore I can't believe that That Wale record Is not charting Which one? On Chill It's not charting? Really? The joint with Jeremiah? Yeah 
I haven't looked at the charts. Shit, that's a really good record. I don't look at the charts either, but Wale would have said something. Is what you're really? saying? I don't think that it's charting today. That's not. Okay. That's not saying that it won't. Right. But that's ridiculous to me. <laughs> something is wrong. Actually, that brings me to a fucking article that I read from none other than Spotify's very own Carl Cherry. Okay. Shout out to Carl. Good guy, friend of the show, of course. Where he basically alludes to songs structured with the uh, R&B hook sung by the girl singer just being a dated style of record. Mm -hmm. Or as far as a hit, anyway. In 2019, there's no longer a wide. He says this. In 2019, there's no longer a widely accepted, obvious pathway to a hit single. The standard formula we've all grown used to, the R&B-friendly rap song packaged to reach mass appeal, is nearly absent from the Hot 100 at the moment. For roughly two decades, the fast track to a mainstream rap hit was to adopt a proven recipe that made the genre more digestible on a large scale. Take a familiar 70s or 80s funk, soul, or pop sample, flip it into a summer-ready soundscape, insert two to three verses, add an R&B hook, preferably by a recognizable singer, and you have a radio-friendly and commercially viable single. Uh, he goes on to make a whole bunch of examples, but he basically says that that is dead. It's changed slightly. Um, now they do it with rap samples. Drake, Lauren Hill, uh, My Type, uh, P. Pablo. Uh, there's a million things where now instead of sampling known B R B hits, they sample hip hop. Songs. Yeah, B flips. You're right there, Parks. I do think what he's saying though, with that traditional thing that killed in the the 2000s of the and 90s, the rap. Here, here's a chick that sings well, well that the, you know. The 2000s and, was. Uh, Get a little emo white chick on on the chorus. Mm -hmm. That was, was doing after 2010. Was doing it. Lupe was doing it. Yeah, yeah. Was doing well, y'all know y'all know what's coming next. It's just like I, I've been saying: no more singles. Just put your fucking project together and put it out. Let the people determine nah, which well, records I, they I'm like. Not, see, you say that, but there's an entire genre within hip hop that is artists that are just single artists. They're not album artists at all. Like I think right. a lot of the younger kids only really put out singles. Like we didn't get an Uzi album. For mad long, he had yeah. about ten singles, and Atlantic was like, "No, just keep putting out singles. Fuck an album. This is what's working for you." I think the more like artist, artist people that really want to make B sides and or just shit, make all those yeah, fucking them. records and put them on one album. I don't keep putting hear out singles, singles. Certain people though, you don't. But I'm, my thing is, you can't. Who's who's determining? And all of them, what don't, even, all like. of them don't even want to make an album at all. Correct. Well, then that's, that's different. That that's that's too. that's yeah. that's different. I'm talking about album artists. Listen, like you don't need a single anymore. But let the people b determine which records they like. They'll stream it however many times. Like, who's the last? Can you name five album artists right now to sell more than two hundred week one first week? Uh, no, probably not. Cole, Kendrick, Drake. Actually, can you name uh, five album artists right now? There's well, three. Those, yeah. Actually, name seven. I think Sean is an album artist. I mean, you could definitely name seven album artists. Yeah, name them. Rihanna, rap. Oh, r just rap? Yeah, of course. I'm not talking about. Oh, You're talking about that are mainstream, oh. obviously. Uh, I think yeah. Travis Scott. Okay. Uh, yeah, For sure. Travis. Travis, yes. Yeah. Drake, yes. J Cole. Cole, yes. Kendrick, yes. Kendrick. Yeah. That's four. Ross. Ross. Oh, you said yes. no. You said that will sell 200 first week. That's what I said. Sorry. Yeah. But I mean, I changed to just name one. So let's let's just name anyway. Ross, I'm counting okay. Ross. Um, let's just try to name the album artist. I think Chains is the album artist. Who? Chains. Two chains for sure. Yeah. Two chains. Yeah. Um, you guys might think I'm fucking nuts, but I can make a case. Cardi B. You're nuts. I'm not calling you an album artist with one album. You're nuts. Yeah, hard to say. Just number one album. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not calling him nuts. I see his point. No, it's if her success, her step over success came from how, that specific album. And each record on there was damn near charted on number one. Like, you're an album artist. <clears throat> and your goal now is, I think, press is setting up for some type of an album. Oh, like, I think hers, her cycles are with albums, not with just a bunch of singles. So I think you could say Cardi B is an album artist. I'm not going to say that with one album. So I'm yeah, at six. One album. I'm at six. Um, with two uh, being the last one that we named. Eminem? You think Future is? Yeah. Future's I think Future's definitely is an album yeah. artist, for sure. Yeah. Eminem? M for sure is an album artist. Jay. 
T.I.'s album artist. Jay, he's not rapping, though. Yeah. Kanye. Yeah. Oh, wait. We got out of the whole thing of selling yeah, we, over 200. Yeah, I we forgot just, about that we part. Just, we, <laughs> just, no, we, just, we just name an album yeah, yeah, artist yeah, yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, Meek. Meek is 100% album artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there's not a lot of guys that are doing over 200. No. Push is an album artist. Yeah. Well, he said mainstream. mainstream. I don't know if I'd call him Yeah, okay. Push. Okay, that's fair. Because yeah. I would have said Royce. <laughs> yeah, I said Royce. I would have said West yeah. Side Gun, Conway, <laughs> and Benny. And... But my point is, it's not so many, it's not so many album not artists. Not If 30 seconds counts to a stream, all these niggas are trying to find loopholes in the system. They're putting out two packs. They're putting out 90-second songs. They're putting out eight-song projects. Like, you saying the single is going to die. I think at some point, out the album is going to die. Yeah, I think the album's in bigger danger than the single. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I think. EPs, really? I, I personally 100%, enjoy EPs yeah. a lot in shorter the albums. The albums are EPs. Yeah, that's a fact. The albums, albums are... Albums be 30 oh, yeah. minutes. Well, it's because people's attention span is so short now. No, it's because the artists ain't getting paid along with well, attention they, well, span. Well, and yeah, also uh, the fact that there's so much music. Like, I, I don't want to listen to an hour and a half of one artist because I would rather listen to three 30-minute albums from yeah. a bunch of people I like. And that's just like my TV analogy. If I get to episode eight in the season and you start in the tail off, I'm going to my other show. Yeah. Attention span. I'll even say a lot of no, these a lot of these shows that are that are our episodes, I have to be really particular now. I'm reading exactly the description. Show me a trailer. I need a co sign from someone I trust. Like dedicating to just try to get into a show takes three to four hours. You oh, don't yeah. have room for error. <laughs> yeah. 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 In Entertainment. I kind of really. have like a seat. I need a multiple and seasons. socially. Damn, they're getting rid of room for error. Yeah, that's deep. I mean, when things are so accessible, Holy yeah, shit. and analytics are so uh, readily available, it's very easy to tell. And what. and uh, I also say with everyone on Earth having a platform to give their opinion things get killed off pretty fucking quickly the way they didn't before. Yeah. Although, things getting killed off on Twitter are not the same as things getting killed off in real life. That's, That's something true. that That's a really Jay overrated. brought up in that. In that yeah, uh, and I, I've said on here that the world is much bigger than your timeline, but at the same time, I've seen it work. I've seen memes get artists the fuck out of here. And in some cases, it's happened. Yeah. I don't think it's the norm, though. And not to say that it's, it can't grow into more of a norm, but... We're all over the place. I don't remember what we were talking about. We were talking about uh, singles and uh, R&B, the formula of R&B. That's what started the conversation. Oh, that's what started the formula. I can't believe that that record is not charting. That's what started the conversation. Yeah, that's crazy, John. I like that record a lot. And I think Wale... No, I love that record. And I think Wale is supposed to drop soon. He is. He, he announced tour dates... Um, and that is exactly how my career went awry. That moment right there. When you find out that a label is about to drop your album mm -hmm. under just some other circumstances. Like, yeah, no, nah, everybody got cursed out. The whole building got cursed out from me. I was young and immature and emotional. No, you're not putting my album out. And we don't have a song on the radio. We don't have a song charting. I don't have product placement. The video's trash. Well, <laughs> Nobody knows shit about shit. And yeah. you just want to put my album out for what? Right. Why? Right. Um, but I mean, it, it would depend on what Wale project we're getting. If we're getting a Wale... Wale is an album artist. I agree. 100%. I agree. He makes really good albums. He also makes really good singles. So I'm of the... I'm, I, I don't need to hear the album. I know how the album going to sound. Yeah. And this is not an ad. I don't work for that label. Or Wale. <laughs> well, labels, and this isn't specific about Wale, but to your point of them just wanting to push it out, labels get cold feet really easily. If something doesn't work the first time, they'll put your shit out just so they can drop you. Cut, let's cut just let's get yeah. this fuck out of here. We're going to lose too much money. I know it's not working. That's why I'm putting it out, so I can get the fuck away from you. Yeah, that's fair. And I don't, I don't think that's the case here with Wale's. I, I think I there, think so they I thought that this uh, this record which that's that's weird that that record isn't charting. It's a it's that's a very a really, that's it's a, a very record. friendly Billboard record. It's it, but, it, but I mean, to to uh, your man's point, Carl. Carl, that that's he's right. Like that that structure is a bit dated. I don't think 
Wale's record is dated, that structure is just dated. That that record, as much as I love Wale and I like that song, it's a safe record. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't think that safe is as successful as far as charts and radio play. As far Today. as like a, Well, that is an old formula. Yeah. Yeah. But in Wale's defense, everyone's kind of killed him for being experimental with certain things. Saying, yo, go back to your bad formula, you know, the shit that charted. What's, what's another one that he had that was like that? There was the bad shit with uh, that was my shit. Uh, Lotus Flower Lotus. Bomb, like those types of records. Wale has won with, so I can see him going. Well, let me go, go back. What to are what we works. saying? This formula is that's dated. R and B hook, R and B uh, hook verse, R and B hook, R and B sample. Find something that's I, a famous. If, if that's dated, I love it. Yeah, I love dated shit. Meek Dangerous. That's that's dated. Uh, they caught one. Isn't oh. that the same formula? It is. It is, yeah. How successful is that song? I'm sure. Successful. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that shit still plays. We'd have to look it up. When, when did that Wale record come out? Not long. It's been out like a month. month. Oh, so they still Sorry. working. They still it working. Could, yeah, hold, that could be a slow burn, that record. It could take a minute. And I see Wale actually working it. So maybe give it a second. That's what I'm saying. You just don't tell me you're giving it a second if you put in an album out in September. Did he say that? I just no. saw the tour. I just saw the tour. What? The tour no. starts in September, so you'd imagine the album will come out before that. Damn, and the whole game is like getting like reversed. I remember when you used to tour before the album. I mean, um, when you yeah, when you used to tour well, before the, you dropped the promo run. Yeah, to kind of touch the people. They yeah. just peaked at number twelve. What peaked at number twelve? Dangerous. That's high. That's high. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's high. That's a record. Yeah. It's a great record. So yeah. my, my only point is, some artists, is, is, well, is Joe, some artists do do that. Is that style dated, or do we just pick and choose who we want it from? It says it only spent two weeks on the chart, though, which is interesting. That's weird. To peak that high and only spend two weeks is. Anytime I get in an Uber or a cab and they're listening to the radio, that fucking, Hot, that song play, is Hot on fucking every time. <laughs> Dangerous is coming on at the pool party. On Chill is coming on at the pool party. As it should. The yeah. Jungle album that is coming on at the pool party. What else is coming on at the pool party? There's going to be some joints that you just know I'm responsible for. <laughs> you going to play a Tupac set? I'm down. I would uh, love a Tupac set. And so would more. Yeah. I would what? And so would more. Love a Tupac set? Yeah. Give me two, three Tupac songs and I'm done. After that, you got to get into something we'll else. That's and That's I, think they, I think you could play more. And than, you could do more than that yeah. if I don't give you the whole song. Don't do that. Yeah. Because I... Yeah, you, could run, you could run through some pop records. Just play How Do You Want It. I'm not giving you Shock G on I Get Around. I'm not getting the... Well, you <laughs> could tell by my everyday time, nah, Rich. Nah, you can't give him Shock G. <laughs> Yo, give him the Shock G verse. So cease and shit on desist shock. with Yo, the tricks. Yeah, don't get it. Don't shit on Shock. <laughs> Yo, he got off. We're, 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 he got off on that. Shock G got off on I'm that. I'm just another black man cool. caught up yeah, in the see, mix. Yeah, see, now you want to play Shock. Mix don't rhyme with sense. Sorry. It's okay though. It was a vibe. <laughs> it was a vibe. It was a vibration. That's Trying all that matters. That you're a smooth beat. I mean, not smooth beat. What was the short nigga name in the back? A dollar and a nickel. <laughs> what was the short? The short boy. He was a rapper. Yeah. Oh, y'all oh, niggas is trash, man. No, we I gotta know his get name, it together. Um, Cause he was in the was. He was in Digital Underground. Was, yeah, it must have been a Digital Underground. Yeah, he was and, in Digital Underground. And, and I think he said his name in the verse. <laughs> <laughs> that's the craziest part. The fuck that part is that's my man. <laughs> I like that. a dollar and a nickel. Anyway, yeah, come on, Parks. <laughs> I'm working on it. Uh, all right, uh, where we at? Where we? We all over the place today. Money B. Money B. Hey yo, what's up, love? How you doing? Well, I've been hanging, slanging, trying to do my thing. Oh, you thought that I was. Your homegirl you went to school with, that's cool, but did she tell you about her uh, sister? Hey, you, you wasn't coming outside, Joe. You was upstairs eating spaghetti <laughs> sandwiches. You heard him. You thought I wasn't? <laughs> Joe was eating spaghetti sandwiches upstairs, looking out the window. That's exactly what I was doing. I know. When that song no was out. I did buy the album, though. Everybody had that album. Everybody had the T-shirt. What was the name of that album? Hot Sex Packets or some dumb shit? Uh, <laughs> Digital Underground was freaky. They <laughs> were. That was her thing. That was part of fun rap. Like how they be shitting Se on the young packets, kids now for yeah. fun rap. Sex packets. Wasn't they, wasn't they like fake fucking blow up dolls on stage and shit though? That's hard they though. <laughs> they, yeah, they was, they was on some shit. Yeah, niggas, niggas the try to get away from was Sons of the P. That wasn't the one. But that's, <laughs> but that Sex Packets album. That was the one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. That was your shit. <laughs> that album was hard. You know what's funny? For me to be such a lyrical, miracle type of guy who loves all this fucking... 
All the hard lyrical. What comes after lyrical albums? Miracle. Spiritual. Spiritual always comes after. Mm. Okay. Like in my childhood, I liked a lot of the the gimmicky guys. Of course, when you're a kid, that's what you like. Yeah, it was fun rap. Yeah. Kid and play. play was, yeah. yeah, kid and play was fun rap. Will Smith, Fresh Prince. Uh, what's Jesse my man? That's a producer now. Polka dots. Uh, Kwame. 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 Yeah. Damn, fun don't rap. tell me Kwame was fun rap. He was. Yeah. I thought he was killing. But that's what I'm saying. I thought, I thought he was <laughs> you thought, killing. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah, everyone was killers when I was a kid. I, Actually, I, I missed the fun rap that, era. <laughs> that, that, that seals the deal. <laughs> yep. Getting a Kwame sleeper. Ooh. That's it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Kwame sleeper. But that was my shit. They was teasing him for the polka dots, and I was confused. That shit was fly. <laughs> I didn't know I would later on become Where? one of the worst dressed rappers in the history no. of hip hop. <laughs> that was the foundation. <laughs> and I don't really think that's true either. Y'all need to suck J. Cole dick, and that nigga be looking. Yeah, but that's his like. Yeah, I know, that's I, know, shit, I, know I know, 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 no, I know, I know. I killed him. I killed him Yo, for the moccasins hey, he had on. Hey, we went, we went to Brooklyn, and Maul couldn't be more in tune with what was happening on the stage. <laughs> I'm like, that nigga been to mad Joe shows. Ain't give a fuck. I was dressed just like that. <laughs> no, you were. No, you were. I was dressed better than that. No, you were. Tell me, I wasn't dressed better than J Cole when he was on in Brooklyn. You weren't. You weren't. Oh, y'all are fucking dick rods, but we learned that already. You weren't. We, we already know that. You uh, thought you went. Show gonna, me when you was dressed better. It's fine. We're not going to his radio station. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Anyway, uh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Kind of a sleeper. If, if we're not going back, yeah, I thought that was into sleepers. No, uh, I do want to. I do want to know. Carl. Carl later on in that article went on to say that uh, uh, the decline in that formula working. Uh, he attributes to the decline in R and B one and uh, the decline in radio. Once streaming got popping, uh, he said that formula just kind of went out the window a little bit. Has there been a, de- a decline with R and B? Yes, from Sam Cooke. When do you want to start? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, Donnie, I'm talking, it's been down Stevie. I, yeah. Yeah. No, I think that, I'm saying pick as, a pick somebody. I'm saying as far as popularity, I think there's been a new spark in the new R and B generation. I think there has. And Rory is not the number one label guy. We're talking about the the art of it. Okay, not I'm, popularity. I'm talking. I was asking. I think that's uh, what he meant. Oh, okay. Artistically, yeah. I'm, I'm underground, underground R and B has been great for the past. That's decade. what I'm getting at. I w- but, was he talking about? The actual making a, of the music, at or a pop level, I don't, I don't know. If popular, I meant just more popular. Like SZA, I don't think it's pop. I consider her in the popular area of R and B. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she's not pop. She's just popular. No, I meant, oh, I, took, I meant literally well, let popular. Me, well, let me read it and find out. I took him to me, I took him to mean uh, the talent level. Okay, because right. I think R and B is in probably one of its bigger spaces in the past. 10 the, years. The decline of the formula also seems to be transpiring during a loss in popularity for R&B. That's what I was asking. Yeah. And the blurring of the genre lines that make hip-hop and R&B at times hardly distinguishable from one another. Okay. Today, yeah, songs with rappers as the primary artists are still difficult to define mm-hmm. because of their rampant use of melody. Yeah. The aforementioned London and Panini and say 50 Cent's 21 Questions share the same lineage, but they feel like distant relatives. Whereas the idea of a radio song was pretty specific in the 90s and 2000s. So much so that KRS-One teamed up with uh, R.E.M. to take some shots at the concept back in 91. Oh, the concept of a streaming-friendly song is much broader. Trap is the sound du jour, but the common threads and patterns between songs are difficult to pinpoint today. Hence the range of subject matter from this year's uh, biggest rap songs. How come we haven't had Carl on our podcast? That's a good question. That was extre- that was extremely well thought out. Yeah, and made mad fucking sense. Yeah, we're stupid. <laughs> Let's call him. He would be call. a good guest. Let's call Carl. Where's the thing with Jiggy? Thing with Jiggy. Getting jiggy with it. No, 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 Getting jiggy with it. No, 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 no. Was that R&B or was that hip hop? Blurred lines. One will never know. Blurry lines. How do I do this? How do I make it come through the thing of a jiggy? Nope. Hold on, buddy. I don't know how to make this work. Just turn the phone. Yo. What's up? All right. This is Joe Budden calling from the Joe Budden podcast. Oh, Lord. How are you doing? I'm good. We're good. I am excellent. We're talking to the one and only Carl Cherry. Now, the public doesn't really know that name, so they don't know that they should give a fuck about you. But fine, we're not doing this for the public. I just read your article about uh, the melodic songs 
no longer being relevant as singles or the standard yep. song structure for singles. Yep. Even though I read it, tell me more. Do you believe uh, that? You said what? Yeah, no, I do. I do. I think um, if you look at the last few years, um, all the songs, all most of the most popular songs have been trap-centric. Like, think about Bodak Yellow. Think about Bad and Bougie. Think about Black Beatles. That None of them that's not really fair. use the... <laughs> that's not fair, Carl. There's you don't think that's fair? Trap Trap has been big since Trap was introduced, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. but and I'm trap, talking about... And the Trap is a formula as well. Sure, but that was specific to the formula we have known for years, the one with the raps and the R&B hooks. That's what I was referring to, not Trap specifically. Those are the ones that the labels have been, you know, suggesting... Is the faster path to a hit for years. True. You don't agree? No, that is true. Yeah. I just, you also said in the article that uh, this theory does not apply to the heavy hitters. Yeah, so I think they're a cheat code. I think it doesn't matter what they put out there, it just reacts. Like if, so you saw like that part where I mentioned Cole, right? And how he mm -hmm. just uh, moved away from the formula. If Cole was to come out tomorrow with a a single with an R&B hook, that shit would be out of here because he's gotten so massive by now. What do you say about a record like Meek Mill Dangerous? Well, good point. Meek is pretty big now. He but might be in that uh, upper echelon. Is he there now? Yeah. No, nah, he's, he's absolutely upper echelon. He's not Ken – I think he's a notch under Cole, Kendrick, and, and, and Drake, respectfully. Oh, no. He's yeah. but, no, he he's not quite he's, at that level. He's not, yeah, he's not. He's not. Yeah, he's not quite there. But but that's a good point. Meek should be able to pull it off. It is charting. It's just not going all the way. Like all the exceptions that I named have a certain level of celebrity. Cardi's another one that I named. She's huge. So we're talking about Kendrick, Drake, Cardi. And Cole, if and, he wants to. And listen, I brought this conversation up on my podcast because I'll be honest with you, I'm super confused about Wale's record not doing what I think it should be doing. <laughs> Honestly. No, no, yo, you I know what's funny? I, can't, I don't understand it. <sighs> but, That's but a yo, record. That, okay, so, so you know what it is? Because shit is transitioned from radio to streaming. All those songs, like the, the Meek song, didn't stream well. I tried to playlist it personally. It didn't do well. It doesn't react. I think that audience just likes the trap shit. It's Wale is sticking to a radio format. Me and him were talking about that shit. I literally started writing a think piece because I was texting back and forth with Wale about on chill. And I told him, I have a theory I need to share with you. Because Black Bonnie, all the songs I named, like the, the, the right here record with fucking Eric Bellinger, that shit was crazy to me. But mm. it's not you put it on playlist, it does okay. It's not for kids. It gets the kid, it, and that's another thing. Maybe the kids don't give a fuck about that format. That's the shit that's we the grew up thing. on, but maybe yeah. they don't yeah, care. Yeah, that's what we were getting at. I was telling Joe, too, though. Just please Wale, the mic, please. Yeah, Wale is an older artist at this point. He's been active since, what, 07? Yeah, around then, 06. Yo, all the guys we named, and I'm older than them, but all the guys we named are technically getting older by rap years. They're all over 30. Yeah. They're all over 35, probably. Close to it. Yeah. So I'm sad now. Yeah. That 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 saddens me, I'll be honest. We're old, man. You mean to tell me we're not gonna get another I need a girl? <laughs> <laughs> you said what? What would hip hop be without I need a girl and I need a girl part two? Like honestly, we're not getting one of you those. Gonna, you're gonna get it from Berg and Chris <laughs> Brown. You, you, all you the know what? Are from R and B now. We're, we're still gonna get them. It, it'll come back. The sound will come back. It, it, I think, you know, I think it's time for, um, I feel like we've been stuck with the same sound for too long. It's time for like a shift. Yeah. Like, think about it. We've been in a post so far gone 808s world, more or less, this, and the trap shit, decade. Joe, to your this, earlier this point. One of the the damn near 10 runs. years. It's the whole decade. The whole decade. And it's like, and it like left. think about it, right? Go yeah. back to the uh, beginning of hip hop. No sound has been dominant for that long. Yeah. Nothing. Like, literally, it's usually a couple years, then it shifts. 
So somebody got to break the mold. Somebody got to bring something to the table that makes everyone go in that direction. It used to be Kanye. Do you, yeah. do you, do you have a pick for who that might be? I don't Moving know. I, I'm going to be a, honest with you. you. I can't call it. I, I, Someone thought, we ever heard. Yeah, I, I thought Travis was going to do that, but I think people just can't make his sound the way he can. Then he got married. <laughs> it's too unique. How about this? Who Who's going to bring the Just Blaze and Kanye sound into the future? How come we haven't seen that in the mainstream since they popped it off 10 years ago? Um, hmm. There's no more soulful. There's there's no more go-to guy that, you know, is cut from that cloth with the soul sampling, keep carrying tradition, all that shit. There always used to be one before that was premiered, Pete Rock. We that haven't was, had one in the mainstream as much. But, yo, Premier used to have a one-year waiting list. Yeah, no doubt. I'm not discrediting their uh, workload or uh, popularity, but they weren't no, necessarily yeah. mainstream. Yeah, they, they didn't get the singles, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Well, they exactly. got the street but single. I, they got the street single. Yes, but I still think that's missing, though. We we need that, – that would balance the shit that we're hearing right now. Well, who's heating up the playlist now, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm asking. Uh, the baby's on fire. Uh, Sweetie. Nah. I like that. So, <laughs> yo, these dudes are sexist out here. They're not trying to listen to these girls and what they're talking about nowadays. Oh, they're missing out. That's my type, nigga. That's my type. <laughs> <laughs> and and some, records, some records are just party records, not streaming playlist yeah. records. Carl, are you coming to my pool party? Oh, shit. What's the date? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, damn. I just got any, uninvited. Any, any You're time, welcome, man. Any, anytime a nigga, what's the date? You don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up with justice. <laughs> no, no. Zane Lowe is coming now. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm throwing that nigga in the pool. <laughs> All right, Rory, you got some yeah, help. I got some help, man. You now. got some help, Rory. That's right. <laughs> It's next week, Carl. I don't expect you to be there, but th just consider this your invite. I bet. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Carl. Appreciate it. Right, thanks, thanks for making me sad. Bye. Of course. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Damn, that's fucking depressing. Well, that doesn't mean it's over for good. Yeah, no, it's no. just, yeah, at this point, that's not a formula that really particularly works. Yeah. Whatever. Shit moves in cycles. I'm going to fuck it It'll be here. back. We have to miss it. Bobby Brown's yeah. just amping like Michael. Yeah. Yeah, it's not because not for nothing. It was people like Cole and Wale that were keeping that alive. When Cole would do like his Miguel record every time, like that yeah. was keeping that structure alive. Yeah. And now I think about it, Drake never really used that structure like that. He nah, did. He, a, he was, did a he few times. He did. A, he did it a few times. Yeah, he sang his own he, hook. Yeah, yeah. He, he did it with that. Janae. He changed. That's why he changed it. He did it. Well, I wouldn't but say that. Alicia like, Keys one was a single. Yeah, they, they were more. Uh, yeah, B side. Yeah, B side leaks. I'm done with y'all. Roy Ayers needs to get an award just for that. Just for my life, my life, my life, my life. Yeah. That's it. He needs a lot of awards, actually. Roy Ayers fire. Roy Ayers, James Brown, the niggas that all nine million of us can sample. <laughs> and still mm -hmm. say and not yeah, and not care. Like it just make a different song each time. Yeah. They need awards, man. Honestly. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's see. We are getting out of here. Let me find my little. Let me go to the middle of the record. Let me turn that down. Let me turn that down. Let me turn it down. Act like I'm faded up. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> verified. Hey, yo, I'm giving these niggas a set at the pool bar. I don't care. <laughs> Food trucks, lights. Fuck y'all. I might, I might give them pump it up. Oh, chill, Parks. Chill. Oh, my bad. My bad. Chill, my bad. Hey, I mean, are you headlining? <laughs> no, I'm not headlining. Okay, opening act. But I'm really excited about. That that we won't talk about. Hmm. I wouldn't give a fuck if don't nobody show up. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna stand right there, and I can't say, but man, yeah, it's gonna you be are one. too. What you of are too. I'm gonna see. What, I'm gonna see what time. I'm gonna see what Maul, time Maul, the, the Maul sun go down. This might be the first time the three of us stand together somewhere that's not a her concert. <laughs> <laughs> and please believe I DM'd her and said, "Uh, <laughs> if you're doing anything." I DM'd her all chummy chummy. Chummy chummy. We gotta leave with a chummy chummy. We have to. You see Rory try to get chummy chummy after the Nikki interview? 
Can we get out of but here? But is that not the name? Can of we chum- get but, out of here? But is that not what Chummy Chummy? I want to leave. I, yo, I just let you get it. Chummy Chummy. All back. these narratives <laughs> off that are so untrue. Chummy Chummy's back. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> yes, it is. I want to get out of here. All right, fine. We're getting out of here. Listen, man. Uh, what's my shit? Bust it down. <laughs> you the you the chummiest now. I think about it. He's chummy. If there's champ. a chummy list, you the chummy champ. You definitely the chummiest. <laughs> I'm cocking his record back. Chummy now. champ. <laughs> the chummy champ. You the chummy champ. <laughs> I'm not the chummy champ. <laughs> you are the chummy champ. <laughs> so I'm the most industry and I'm the most they, chummy. They kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, the same, yeah. Y'all chummy is going, like, I'm bringing chummy back. Not for y'all to I'm put it back on me. Back. Back. That's how it works. I'm bringing chummy back. Oh, God. Hey. Leave Chummy where to set. No, no. All right, fine. Listen, uh, we getting out of here. Uh, what's my shit, man? I forgot. My brain freeze. Come uh, on, just give me, give me the start. One life, one life. Life is just a memory. Ah, life is a series of moments and moments past. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Keep us in your prayers, Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, adios, arrivederci. I bid you adieu. Hasta la vista. One. Goodbye, so long, goodbye. Remember, she's not fine, she's young, she's not thick, she's on her tippy toes, she doesn't have hips, she's sitting on the sink, she doesn't have a sense of humor, she grew up with brothers. Uh, she's not protecting her peace, she's avoiding her baby. D- <laughs> a remix. <laughs> Remix. She's not protecting her peace. She's avoiding accal- accountability and failing to realize how her actions are having a negative effect on not only her, but others in her life as well. Okay. All right. And that's what I got for y'all this week, man. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for being here with us. Lord knows you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. We appreciate that. Again, we want to thank Nikki Minaj for joining us and sharing her platform. Uh, we want to thank all of you guys for listening. We just got mad 